Who? What? Where? When? Why? Ha oh! Hi. That's right, it's Monday. And that means... More of this. Hello, Ellison! Welcome back. Just as a reminder for everyone as to what the stakes are for this particular trial, if I get a guilty verdict, the Hat Man is in fact going to hurt Yoko Littner, and I can't be having that. So, I suppose we'd better get started then, huh? Let us press on. When last we ended things off, Lost as Edgeworth was about to admit to committing murder. Which means he's probably guilty. Ah, Maya does not look happy. What was Mr. Lost as Edgeworth talking about? A memory of a crime I that I committed. A memory of murder. Do you really think Mr. Loss's Edgeworth killed? Yes! I believe he is guilty. 100%. Hello, MCH. Welcome and thank you for the raid. I don't believe it. Not Mr. Loss's Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. Well, I'm not surprised. Oh, hello, Goose. How are you? Hello. Uh, decent. How are you? Doing okay. Let me, uh, make that a bit bigger. Did you want to voice, uh, Maya in absence of dawning? Sounds terrific. Uh, there's, like, sometimes lag on my end, so let me, like, pull the script I was gonna say, up. you're... Yeah, you'd want to pull up a script. I just started, though, so we're not too far into Investigation Day 3. Yes, I did in fact see the raid. Thank you for the raid, MCH. Yay! Alright, some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he'd never take... Boy, Phoenix has a lot more confidence in this guy than I do. He'd never take someone's life. NEVER! Um, Phoenix has more confidence than most people do. That's true. He doesn't get far, or he wouldn't get very far without it. Hello, Bug Mike. Yes. Welcome. I suppose for those who are stopping by for the first time, I'm Maniacal Engineer. I generally stream Ace Attorney, and I just started streaming Tears of the Kingdom on this channel. You can also find me over on Bulba Garden's channel when I stream Pokemon stuff. But, welcome. We are welcome, in the middle... Welcome. Go ahead. I just said welcome. Yes. We are in the middle of, what is it, Chapter 4? And I'm stuck defending this guy named Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth. Have you got a script yet? Uh, the big problem is I need to find the specific part of the script. Just turn about goodbyes or something. Yes. It's not turn about. Yeah, the way this thing is set up is that you have, like, part six parts? That's so weird and stupid. But I have to... You can go ahead. I will try to catch up. That's Use what I was going to, to suggest. Hmm? My uh, affectation until I can find the appropriate part of the script. I mean, I can't do it as well as Dawning can, but I will try. Okay, never mind. I got it. I got it. Oh, I guess we bluffed for long enough. All right. Yay. Nick! Oh, God. This guy's buttsin' in. Oh, Trainer Gabriel. Okay, yes. It, you yeah, know, I am one in the same maniacal engineer. There, there is, in fact, only one maniacal engineer. Larry, fancy seeing you here. 
Yo, how's everyone doing? What'd you think of my performance today? I had him swooning in the aisles, huh, Maya? Swooning? Me? Oh, oh yes, I do remember feeling faint. Yeah, he does just butts in like this, Allison. Right on, tell me the truth. Was It, it was love at first, boy, first her older sister, now her. Uh, it was love at first sight, right? Right, Nick? Uh, huh? Me? I, uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a beat or two. Da, da, da. I think you can do better than that. Come on. I saved Lost's Edgeworth in there, dude. Lost is edgy. You guys should be bowing before me. Yeah, bow before your... Larry, I wanted to get the guy a super guilty or ultra guilty. I, I had my guilty verdict on him. Then you busted, and I thought we were going to get a super or ultra guilty verdict. And now I'm furious. But anyway, bow before your hero. Examine, because I don't want to talk to him. Does. Does what? Who does want to talk to Larry? Ah, uh, it's fine. Like, he's, he's a good guy, but, but like, I'm mad at him right now. I, I am infuriated that he cost me my guilty verdict. Lacey, from the Indigo Disc. I don't actually know who that is because I haven't gotten there yet. She is the best. I love her. See, I love that, like... Poor Phoenix with these books mocking him. I too would probably get mocked by legal textbooks. Alright, Larry. You talk a big game, but I'm gonna give you my attorney's badge. I'm glad someone's happy about how this case is going. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing he's not gonna... Yep. Alright, fine. I actually have to talk to him. Tell me about today's trial. Larry, you really helped out the trial today. Goose? Oh, uh, this part isn't in... Really? A Boy, script this, for some reason. This seems like a, a very lacking script. This is a very bad script. This is a very, very bad script. Actually, like a pitifully bad script. You did! Uh. This sucks, man. That's fine. I can keep voicing Maya for a little while. Like I said, I don't do as good of a job as Dawning, but it's okay. If you weren't there, Larry, I'll play I'm her, like. You'll do what? Oh, never mind. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. <laughs> but seriously, Nick, that boat shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. The loss is edgy ain't off the hook yet. I mean, I kind of hope he's not off the hook. I'm still trying to get that guilty verdict upheld. Quite frankly, it annoys me that somebody else is falling under suspicion. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know? But from where I was sitting, Lost is Edgy seemed pretty... edgy. I mean, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? No. No, we really can't. Or anything, for that matter. Which is why I must find him guilty. Right? Maybe. Well, that's his policy. <laughs> I don't know. But, what I do know is, I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Oh good, with a team of Larry Butts and Maya Faye, I'm doomed to failure. 
Huzzah! We'll get that guilty verdict for sure. Us two. Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? Nah, he means me, right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. Oh, Maya looks sad. I don't like her I sad Maya face. Sad. Oh, well. Maya needs hugs. Yeah, well. Why Larry indeed? That is an excellent question. Why in the world would I ever believe in Larry? What other kinds yeah. of games do I play or stream? So right now, Ace Attorney on Mondays, and then Tears of the Kingdom on Wednesdays. Aside from that, on the Bulba Garden channel, I'm currently streaming uh, Pokemon Art Academy to hopefully get my art skills up to par, because I am terrible at art. That's what I'm doing now. I actually just yesterday did a 13 and a half hour stream on the Bulba Garden channel where I covered the teal mask, which was fun. I also completed the Kitakami decks while I was at, while I was at it. And he got multiple shinies. Two, yes. Huh? Um, actually, yeah. Why me, Nick? Da da da. Humph, enough with the silent treatment. Oh god, why do I believe in Larry? This is an excellent question. Yes, 13, well, okay, technically closer to 13 hours because I had to step out for half an hour in the middle, well, actually more towards the end, but it was about 13 hours of streaming. Anyway, let's talk to him about Lost as Edgeworth. Is this part in the script or no? No, unfortunately. This script sucks. I'm going to call the people who wrote this and tell them we need to make a better script. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll keep voicing Maya then. Nick! Why do you trust Mr. Lost's Edgeworth so much? I don't. I mean, he's... Ch no, he has not changed recently. A, a, a leopard can't change its stripes. I mean, he's changed recently, true. But when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? See, I'm on Maya's side. You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Yes. In grade school. They saved me. Kilometers and Larry. They saved me and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defi- It's not because I had any actual affinity or talent for the law. That's that's not why I became a defense attorney. It's specifically because of those two goobers. Yes. What? Hey, hey Larry, what's he talking about? Huh? Uh, um, er, sorry, I kind of forgot. Larry... Okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear this story today, and that's final! Okay, okay. What the heck? It was in the script. I found it. For some... Why was it hidden? I don't know. Well, yeah, of course you don't, but... I can't see the script. All I can see is what's on my screen. Anyway... I uh, I think Phoenix is about to monologue anyway, so you came in right at the time when you don't have lines. Anyway, it's kind of yes. a long story, so hang in there. Dot, dot, dot. It was a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far Hawaii. I mean, it was the very end of third grade. I was on trial. A class trial. Oh, it's staying in front of a class trial? Let us talk about the, the class trial. You remember, Larry? Spring, end of third grade? A kid in our class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? Our school was really small. Every month, kids would bring in an envelope with money for lunch from home. 
Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared, with $38 still inside. But it was the envelope that we actually cared about. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you'd forget, though. You were out of school on that day. Uh, you were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during P.E. class. I was coming down with a cold, so I'd skipped P.E. that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? And I probably did, too, but don't tell anybody. I mean, yeah, the kids in class said I should be put on trial. Trial? So the next day we held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. Oh dear, this looks fun. Even back then he still had spiky hair. I I didn't do it's it. Natural. Guilty, he did it. It was you, thief! Give the money back. You're such a meanie. No one play with him. Just admit you did it. You can't hide the truth. Tell us the truth. We're not going to play with you anymore. Yeah, and you're borrowing my eraser. He shouldn't be lying in the relay race or in the library committee. Give me back the 56 I loaned you. Hey, did you rob the bank that other day? Whew. Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. Even though your last name is wrong, you still shouldn't do what's wrong. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Go over and apologize, Phoenix. I I didn't know. Uh, oh, oh, I I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. I tried to apologize. I went to where the boy whose money was stolen was sitting. That's when it happened. Objection! He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed, amateurs. K kilometers Oh, hey, it's this guy. Look at him in his little bow tie. I know, so cute! It wasn't you. Miles. Yeah, no, many kilometers. So if he's many kilometers, I guess that means he's just regular old meters? Meters is cute. Anyway, continue. It wasn't you who... S it oh, so this was the guy whose money got stolen. Yes. I didn't know that. They didn't tell me that. Decameters. Fine decameters. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? N no. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That's why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. Wow, that's a change from him shouting guilty as sin later on. But, but meters, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, Deco he did it. Meters. He's the one. We don't need proof. Make him say he's sorry. Why don't you all just... Oh, that's Larry, isn't it? Why don't you all just yeah. shut up? This is how it always is. Everyone ganging up and picking on one person. Just think about how he feels. He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. Tiny Larry butts, buttsing in. Again. Very well. I will replace the money myself. This class trial is over. So who actually did it? Probably was Larry, wasn't it? You'll find out eventually. That's how it happened. After that, the three of us were best. For, were the best of friends. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I forgot. Good job, Larry. That's when I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. Um, yeah, well, I was just lucky I took the, the, that I took the day off from school. If I'd been there, they would have been, they would have thought I'd done it. That's not untrue. So I took it kind of personally, see? When something smells, it's usually the bots. 
All right, well, let's talk about after the class trial. Anyway, Losses Edgeworth and I talked after that class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my father. A famous defense attorney. He still has that smug voice, even when he's a kid. Then a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. The DL6 incident. Right. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's de No shit, Sherlock. So sad. Da, da, da. It was several years later when I heard Losses Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was some uh, was something like "Dark Suspicions of a Demon." Oh God, that's hilarious! Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney, fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. Look at that! He would. Yeah, the article said he he'd do anything to get a verdict. Anything. Good evening, ungovernable. Yes, hilarious. I've made that joke several times before. Anyway, but why? What happened? I mean, that's not the lost as edgy that I used to know at all. That's what I thought, Wait. too. Calvin, hmm? is that you? Who is, is, is what? Calvin? Ungovernable? Oh, right, I think Calvin is ungovernable. I keep forgetting. Hi, Calvin. I try... Yeah, I, I tried to get in touch with him. I don't know how many times. He never replied. I guess he didn't want to. Oh yeah, that's your see line. his old friend. I couldn't just drop it though. I wanted to meet him. Hello, Midori. I wanted to meet him to learn why he became uh, why he had become who he became, a jackass. That's when I decided. Hi, Mido. Wait. You don't mean... That's why? That's why you became a defense attorney? To meet Edgeworth? Well, it's certainly not because I had any talent for it. Have you seen my cases? If I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not. In court. Dut dut dut. Lost as Edgeworth believe in me, believed in me, and I believe in him because I'm an idiot. And the only bar that I've passed is one that gave me whiskey. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real loss is Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. That is Goose in the VC. Yes, Midori. Hi, uh. Whoa, Nick. So, so is that why you helped me out for free? Uh, yes. Also because you couldn't pay. I helped you because I believed... Uh, I helped you because I believed in you. Except I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. Aw, oh, Nick! 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 I hope this is the actual part in the script. We have to save Mr. Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do, okay? It probably will be the last thing I do, yes. Because after the shame of having to defend that jackass, I am retiring from a de from being a defense attorney. Right. It absolutely will be, because after this trial, I'm throwing my defense attorney badge in Lake Gord and running the wet noodle. Isn't it Gord Lake, not Lake Gord? Whatever. Gord Lake, Lake Gord. Somebody's getting Gord. Okay. First, there's that rental bookshop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. I'd settle for who. I guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. Dot dot dot. Okay, let's go. All right, Mr. Larry. Are you now not excited? And no, he's not excited enough yet. Very well. Let us move. Should I go to the detention center, the Gord Lake entrance, the criminal affairs department, or the Grossberg Law Office? Hmm. See, here's the thing, Midori. 
no hatman can, pro uh, can can make me defend anybody if a I don't have an attorney's badge and b if I'm not a defense attorney. It's foolproof, I tells you. Foolproof. Um, Donning will find a way. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Gord Lake entrance. Why the heck not? Oh, it's my buddy Gumshoe. Hey, pal! Long time no see! Badges at this. I mean, considering what Phoenix's competence level is, you probably can. Well, they... Detective got you! Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Uh, sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll add that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now, I'm off to catch me a criminal. Well, I guess we don't um, get to talk to him. If you're curious, Calvin, uh, Gumshoe's actually very, very popular. Um... Uh, dot, dot, dot. Detective Gumshoe sure is... active today. Oh, one other thing. <laughs> no one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotto is camping? The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park rangers found out. He got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess Lot is in a lot of trouble. I mean, that's kind of what she gets for camping right next to a sign that said no camping. Yes. Anyways, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Examine the trees. Uh, who do I like better, Gumshoe or Looker? Let's be honest. Looker in the games has some personality, but... Gumshoe is Gumshoe is a oh thank you for uh, thank you for the follow Calvin that does remind me I'm I want to say only about four followers away from hitting affiliate status so if you're enjoying the content and you haven't followed already please do follow oh well thank you for the follow Guzmania yeah I uh, forgot to do that on this account for some reason so here I am. Follow Fair me. enough. Appreciated. Anyway, and yes, park rangers have more authority than the police, but probably only in the park. Anyway, uh, something oh, about no, my. Oh, but my poetry are starting to feel. Yeah, my poetry has that effect on some people. Uh, the Gord Lake Nature Park. I mean, that's probably just, by the way, the game's way of telling me I don't actually need anything in the Gord Lake Woods, but. That's beside the point. Sign says Gord Lake Nature Park. Place is full of family picnicking on the weekend. Family picnicking is the best. Yeah, but there's no waterfall. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. Uh, there was something else I could check, I thought. Uh, maybe not. Oh, let me actually check what I've still got in my court record. Because it said I could clear out some of the evidence. So I've still got the autopsy report, the lake photo, the overhead map, the bullet, the pistol. Hello, Queen of Space. Hello, Luna. Luna? Okay, so Lada's testimony is not going to be important anymore. But all right, let us proceed in to the Gord Lake Public Beach and see if Mr. Larry is selling hot dogs. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. We are on 
the final day of investigation. Yes, investigation day three. The steel eyesore yes. is missing. Eyesore? Looks like the hot dog stand is closed. Well, that's because Larry was just with us in the in the office. I guess Larry's been too busy with the trial to show up for work. That's exactly what I just said. Anyway, examine. Yes. The hot dog stand. Guess Larry has today off. He was pretty happy about saving Mr. Edgeworth. True. We owe him big. Which means you can't have any more free hot dogs, Maya. Aww. Benches. No one's going to sit here on a cold day like today. Well, unless they were eating a samurai dog. How would that change the temperature, I wonder? Dot, dot, dot. You seem troubled, Nick. N no, who, me? Uh, is there a garbage can? There's a garbage can. A trash can with no trash. At least the place is well maintained. And that's why the park ranger has more authority than the police do. Mm -hmm. The tree. Oh, it's actually the lake. Yes, it is the lake. This lake sure likes to cause problems, doesn't it? Yes, but it'll make my problem go away when I sink my defense attorney badge into it. I mean, huh? I mean, everything that happened here turned out to be a lie. Gordy was a lie, and the charges against Mr. Edgeworth were all lies. I guess you're right. I mean, I'm glad the charges were all lies, but still. Look. Like I said, this lake will solve at least one of my problems. Alright, well, I guess we're going to move to the boat rental shop. See what we can find here. Whoop, whoop. Hmm. The pit, look, that's day three. The parrot will testify in trial tomorrow. I have to finish my investigation first. Yeah. Yes. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined that he might be the real murderer. Whereas I knew it the moment I saw him. Who is this? Ahem? Oh boy. Oh, it's Marvin Grossberg. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> I'd know that clearing of the throat anywhere. What are you doing here, Grossberg? Oh, hello, hello. What might you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of a fresh lemon. You see? Bur this is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. Er, that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, lost his Edgeworth should be fine, right? It's Look, it's not expected, Midori. I have never seen this guy out of his office. Literally never. Such well, a fresh lemon. Yes, I, I suppose if I could smell video games, maybe I would have smelled the scent of fresh lemon before I spotted him, but anyway. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Thanks. Uh, bye? think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? I have no idea. He's an odd duck, that fellow. I mean, who knows? Examine the woods. There's a forest here beyond these bushes. The forest. There's someone in there! Dot, dot, dot. You're right. There's a few policemen in there. They must be looking for the caretaker! Good luck. Alright, let's investigate the boat. There are some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in a boat from this dock. 
Apparently, the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Actually, no, the murder didn't take place in the boat, but indeed, there's space for one more boat by the dock. Yes, I've seen that before. All right, the rental shop itself. The boat rental shop doesn't look like anyone is around. The caretaker must have run for the hills, huh? Well, he certainly didn't run for the lake or the forest. Yeah, looks like it. He didn't seem like a bad person. Well, that goes to show what I know, which is absolutely nothing. But, with him gone, let's break into his house. Ah, uh, my friend... Ooh. Hmm? My friend Polly uh, the Parrot. Hello! Hello! Hey! It's Polly! I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Hello! Hello! I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. I agree. This is a terrible person. I have to remember this, and maybe, just maybe, I won't take over the wet noodle like I promised him. But I do kind of feel like taking over the wet noodle. But I'd take yeah. care of the parrot, too. Hello! Hello! Alright, how you doing, my fine feathered friend? Examine the poly. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyway. I'm sure they'll do something. Well, okay. Oh, I Sorry, hope... Polly. I says hope I po can't take you. I hope Polly ends up in my uh, in my office in the future. I'd love to have a parrot hanging around. Great, now the bird's going to hate me. Which is bad, because I'm going to call her as a witness. Anyway, let's investigate the sink-slash-kitchen area. It doesn't look like he's used this kitchen much. You're right. I guess the whole pasta restaurant thing was a lie. No! But I want to take over the wet noodle! What, you thought he was telling the truth? Yes, I did think he was telling the truth! I wanted to take over the wet noodle. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at these posters again. Of the fish. Fish. Say, Nick, don't people usually put pictures of fish up on the wall to boast about them? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You mean pictures of fish th of the fish they caught, right? Right. But don't all the fish on the wall here look pretty puny to you? Well, you know what they say. You should have seen the one that got away. Except the one that got away from us was the caretaker! And we did see him! Why do I feel like we're having two different conversations here? Uh, does he have anything in his garbage can? Well, that's a startling reaction. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, never mind. What? Tell me. Oh, it's the TV, apparently, not the garbage can. Yes. Just when I saw the TV, I remembered you're showing a Pink Princess special this week. Really? Oh. See? That's why I didn't want to tell you. Get your priorities straight. Uh, what's with this table? He left the food on the table. Hmm, everything's cold. Looks like he didn't turn his heater on. I guess he hasn't been back here since the trial. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's check his fishing pole. Oop. That fishing pole looks expensive. 
Maybe we should bring it to Detective Gumshoe. That's what I said the other day. Don't you think the caretaker would mind? Well, we can just leave him the metal detector in exchange. Uh, maybe we'd better not. Alright, I don't think there's anything else actually significant here, is there? Hmm. Mm. No, it's not the garbage can, because that was the TV. It's not the cabinet under the garbage can. It's not the table. It's not my friend Polly. Got the kitchen area. That vent is not suspicious at all. Not at all. Not at hmm. all. Wait a minute, there's something I haven't investigated yet. Could it be the safe? Wow, really? Are you sure? Maybe there's something important in it. Uh, Let's investigate just know. to be sure. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to this safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. One, two, two, eight. Let's open it, Nick. Come on. Of course she would. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Aww. But hey, he keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. I'm not so sure, and we really shouldn't be breaking into stuff. I'm reasonably sure, as a defense attorney, that's a crime. Okay. Nick, let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter, and it's the letter Z. Typical. A letter? Aww, boring. Hmm, there's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Kilometers Lost His Edgeworth. Hmm. Lost His Edgeworth? Mm, Why does your Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth. It also says this is your last chance. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Lost as Edgeworth. Calling Lost as Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here in perfect detail. What is that a letter he wrote to... Th that's a letter he wrote to himself, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, this this guy probably has more and less lucid moments, so he wrote that during one of his more lucid moments. Anyway. Uh, what do you think it means, Nick? Midori. Time and I, place. I don't know, but it looks like these instructions these are instructions for the caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and killed out Lost as Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? Polly. And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But the but one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Letter from Safe. Get your revenge on Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth. This note details the moita and the setup. Well, it's an open and shut case. I can finish my investigation. Anything else here? There's nothing left in the safe. No, there's actually nothing else here. I checked the safe again and said there's nothing left in the safe. I wonder why the caretaker didn't take the letter with him? He left in a hurry, right? I don't think he even came back here after the trial. And that's certainly not something he would have wanted to take to court. Polly, you're coming with me. Mm. 
All right, let's go to the boat rental shop. That takes care of that. So let's go Gord Lake Public Beach, move to the Gord Lake entrance. Uh, I want to go to the detention center. I've got good news for Mr. Kilometers. And I also have to talk to him about his murder that he committed. Dot, yeah. dot, dot. You look as grim as always. Humph. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? I heard this story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You... don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In fourth grade? This says third grade. Huh, somebody made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> oh, why does it always say fourth grade in here? It's so Probably dumb. because... so. I, I think that that's an inconsistency. I, I think that is an inconsistency in the translation because I'm pretty sure on like day two of investigation, it was talking about how they knew him in fourth grade, and now we're talking about third grade. So I feel like somebody screwed up the continuity or the translation a bit. But yes, apparently there was a yeah. class trial, and k kilometers, or since he was younger, he was meters lost as Edgeworth. Right, he, he was a little tiny meters lost as Edgeworth back then, and he still had that same smug voice. And a little Ooh. bow tie. And yes, a little bow tie. And yeah, I'm sure it's a trans... But that's that's interesting. That's an inconsistency. So, no. it, in fact, it is it, it is a translation issue, but it, it should be fourth grade, even if the screen is saying third grade. Somebody messed up. Anyway. Yes. Oh, lunch money. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, oh, right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick? I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Dot, dot, dot. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of cockamamie thing you do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, Ron? So simple, to a fault. See, he's still insulting me! Why should I defend this schmuck? Haha. Uh -huh. Why should I defend him? Give me one good reason why I should defend him. Um, he has a sad backstory. I don't care. I'll stab him in the backstory. I think that's mean and illegal. I meant metaphorically. Aww. He's not wearing a hat. Yoko. Oh yeah, Yoko. Doggone it. This is why I'm retiring from being a defense attorney, so I can't get pulled into these ridiculous situations anymore. But there's no wet noodle for you to take over. Then I'll make the wet noodle. Anyway, so simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe yeah, but I think you changed too much, Loster Edgeworth. Dun, dun, dun. Perhaps... Oh, is he actually admitting he might have done something wrong? Yes, he is. Hmm. I doubt it. No, he is. But see how he looks all upset instead? <laughs> upset. Oh, Bugmite, thank you for the follow. Oh, actually, Bugmite, you never would have seen this, right? So, I, I should show you. This is the whole reason why I'm actually defending Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth, because otherwise I hate the guy. That was a, uh, an ultimatum that I received, courtesy of one Dawning Winds. Anyway, let me present him with my attorney's badge. Basically... Um. Hmm? 
Yeah, the hat man was going to kill Yoko Littner if me didn't defend Miles Edgeworth in court. Dawning seems to have, has, have discovered that uh, I have a weakness for redheads. I think it's very obvious, actually. She didn't just, like, discover it. I mean, that's fair. Uh, considering all the time I spent in Gerudo Town, yes, it, it's fair. In the whole Lorizu thing, but... Yes, that too. Anyway, that's how Dawning gets me to do basically whatever the heck she wants me to do. Which is besides the point. Anyway. Well, this is the first defense, uh, the first Ace Attorney game that I've ever played. I'm gonna present him with a parrot. <laughs> uh, what? No, there, there was something that I wanted. Oh yeah, this one, the letter. Lost is Edgeworth. See this letter? Hmm. This came out of the safe in the shack where the boat where that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Dot 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 exclamation mark. Revenge on me. Yes, Lost is Edgeworth. Who in the world would want revenge on someone as sweet and lovable as you? You goddamn jackass. You're so mean to him. Well, you spend your life being a villain and you wonder who would want revenge on you. Anyway, Maya He's has a line. Lovely. Who is that old guy anyway? I... I don't know. Could he be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty or something? I wouldn't doubt it. I really wouldn't doubt it, considering your 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 track record, bub. What are you insinu insinuating, Nito? Nice, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. No, I do not bully the one that I like. I dislike him. I want to deck him in the schnoz. Almost as much as I want to deck Von Karma in the schnoz, but Von Karma is at least fun to voice. Huh. Yeah! So he was following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond. Mighty suspicious. Yes. It also says, this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe... Maybe he's maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations on the DL6 incident? Dot, dot, dot. Wait. Wait, that old man. What is it? Do you know who he is? Yugi. No, I'm sorry, we're going with Yugi. Yugi, C could he be Yugi? Yugi? The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Oh, ho, ho. Yami Yugi has returned. And no, I don't like Lost as Edgeworth and is just trying to hide it. I hate Lost as Edgeworth. He's a jackass. Let's show him the picture of his dead dad. Oh my gosh, me. Well, it's evidence. That's very mean evidence, though. Well, that's why Maya doesn't seem to want to let me do that. Yeah. Uh, no kidding. Nick, no! Who made the script? It is all over the place. Gosh. Uh, I never said I was a good person. When have I ever said that I'm a good person? So 
a photo of his father. Don't show him that. You're right. Now probably isn't a good time to dredge up the... On the contrary. What is it? Uh, um, here. Here's a picture of your dad. <laughs> Nothing. Huh? All right, fine. Uh, this one may be the deal? No. I guess that's probably the only thing that I can present him, huh? He doesn't yeah. have very many unique dialogue options. Well, fine. I might as well talk to him. So, why prosecute? Hey, Lost is Edgeworth. Why did you become a prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? Dot, dot, dot. I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? They're the scum of the earth, and I'm not that good of a person. Look. I am better than Lost as Edgeworth. I don't fabricate evidence against people. I just show them evidence that they might not want to see. I'm sorry, right? But I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes, the man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yami Yugi. He had to be the shooter any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. That defense attorney got him off the hook. That would be Robert Hammond. On that day, 15 years ago, the three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yugi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yami Yugi had been not of sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Yugi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. After all, they are also the scum of the earth. Tell me about Von Karma. What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. Mostly because he shouts loud enough that nobody else dares to contradict him. Not because he's actually smarter than anyone else, mind you. He's still an idiot, just like everyone. <clears throat> I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. So, he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He's a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life, he is obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent, ever. But... but that... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him. Actually, his perfectionism is his weakness. <clears throat> Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Um, Lost is Edgeworth, if what you're saying is true, you're heading for a guilty sentence tomorrow. It's true. 
If that's the only thing Von Karma cares about. Yeah. Um, now's no time to be praising the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. It's a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding. Alright, tell me about this Yami Yugi fellow. Yami Yugi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. Oh, hey, the room is shaking. I wonder what that could mean. The yeah. Quake was, the, the quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were, we were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled and uncivilized. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet! I said quiet! You're not making this any easier. I want to get out! Help! Get us out! Don't shout, you'll just use up more oxygen. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, Yami Yugi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court, and Yugi was found innocent. Ah. Isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? It dot dot dot. Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I... Oh, you're about to confess to murder again. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare. Yes, I remember this, even though it was last week. It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A, a, a crime you committed? A memory of a murder. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. Well, well, tell me about this nightmare. For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Help, I can't breathe! Quiet, I said quiet, you're not making this any easier. I want to get out! Help, get us out! Don't shout, you'll just use up more oxygen. I, I can't breathe. You, you're using up my air. W what? Stop breathing my air. I'll, I'll stop you. Uh, w what? What are you? Stop breathing my air. No. Father. He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol. Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from the de from that day in court or the bailiffs. In a daze, I picked up the pistol. Get away! Get away from my father! Uh-oh. Warg! And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. Well, that's ridiculous. You should probably go to a doctor or a psychologist or something. But it does, in fact, sound like you committed murder. Again. But, but that's just a dream, right? Right? Dot, dot, dot. The, that thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. I wouldn't say you're sane, buddy. 
but what if I'm wrong? Oh, perish the thought. You couldn't possibly wrong could uh, be wrong, could you? You jackass. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. Well, 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 I'll take that as a full confession. What? Officer, arrest him. I said, officer, arrest him. He's guilty, and it's the day before the the, the it, it's the day before the um, statute of limitations, so you can prosecute him to the full extent of the law. What times two? Not what times two. It's just basic law. He just confessed to Moita. We gotta we, we gotta have him arrested and tried. Projection, he... Nick. Why are you objecting? LOL. That doesn't answer my question. Objection overruled. <sighs> All right, so we're we're skewering him for his father's murder. I can get him off on killing Yami Yugi or Robert Hammond or whoever, but not on his father's dad. Uh, not on his father's murder. He's going to jail. Fine, I can kind of live with that. Anyway, if you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on kilometers lost as Edgeworth. Think about it. Yugi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, lost is Edgeworth. You, you mean? It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my fa See, now he's actually admitting it for real, not just a uh, not not just speculative. This is an actual full confession. Um not really. He, not, he literally says right here, I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. Look at his face! Okay, he might regret it, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. it well, if it was on accident... Nah. Anyway, what are we going to do next? This is what bad. can we do? I don't know. I don't think there is anything we can do. Like it or not, he's got to go to jail for murder. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe. Hmm, dot dot dot. There is, Nick. There is someone else who knows about DL6. What? Who? Who knows more about DL6? The scent of fresh lemon. I have no idea who that would be. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the criminal affairs department. They probably know a lot about the DL6. Alright, hmm, looks like Detective Gumshoe hasn't gotten back yet. Gumshoe, he won't be coming back today. What are you humming back there? Oh, really? You said there was some guy you had to arrest by tomorrow. The boat shop caretaker. He shouted something about catching him as the la about catching him if it's the last thing I do, pal. Good luck, Gumshoe. All right, let's see what this guy's studying now. Please think about... Oh, okay. What you're doing, Jolinda. Don't take my Tommy away from me. No, what? You must be doing image training for a nasty divorce argument. And all the computers. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes, the blue badger. Definitely nothing suspicious here. I love the blue badge. Tomorrow I'll present it before the department at last. I'm going to make sure people, uh, they know how much people like the blue badger. Um, good luck. 
There are actually several games themed just around the Blue Badger. All right. Uh, let's see. What what's the chief up to? This must be the chief of detectives here. He's glued to Who keeps gluing him to his computer screen? This is a horrible office prank. Well, that's not possible. The world ended yesterday? He must be reading predictions for the future on someone's homepage. That's a very busy chief of detectives. Okay, fine. And then, of course, the all-important calendar. Uh, don't worry. I think the Blue Badger is kind of unnerves a lot of characters as shown in Case 5. Um, I can't oh, go into the record room. Why are like that? Why what? Blue Badger. What? You'll see, there's a funny... <laughs> there's a pretty funny scene involving the Blue Badger. Like, minus the multiple games that are themed after him. Okay, we're back at the office. Because I couldn't think of anywhere else to go. I'm so confused and I feel like I'm left out in the cold. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. But I'm at a loss. We definitely don't have any evidence at all. Ooh. Oh, man. I mean, you say that there's no time to waste and let's get going, but it's not like I have anywhere yeah, no to go. Yeah, no more time to waste. Let's get go. <laughs> I really don't know where to go. Because the last couple places I went to, like, if I'm supposed to go there, how come I couldn't go there from the Criminal Affairs Bureau or from the Gord Lake? Like, the, the Grossberg Law Offices wasn't an option. Hey, chat, how do you feel about... Okay, you know what? I was actually going to make a Goldberg joke, but Dory beat me to the Goldberg thing, so... Never. Oh, Grossberg! You said Goldberg and you tripped me up. There is no Goldberg in these games. You would know best, Nick. I don't do know what anything. You do. That should work. I don't know anything. That's the problem. Here, have my attorney's badge. So, type the DL6 incident. Something, something. You might want to pay a little more attention to the chat, me. I, I've heard about- Stop the showing me stuff and let's get cracking! I, I don't know who Goldberg is. There is no Goldberg. Meant Grossberg. I it's don't- Wolf Owl Midori. Yes, but I tried to go there from the Criminal Affairs Bureau. I tried to go there from Gord Lake, right? See, I go there. I go to Gord Lake. I move. There is no Grossberg Law Offices. See, it's not an option. So I go to the uh, Criminal Affairs Department, and I try to move, and it's not here. You will go back to. I'm so confused. Well, I Pick guess. Uh, please, it is not Gord Lake. What's and not just Gord Lake? Go there. Okay, I'm at the Criminal Affairs De Bureau, and I can't get to the Grossberg Law Offices. There's no option for that, which means clearly that's not where I'm supposed to go. Sounds good, Bug Might. Thank you for dropping by. Bye, Trainer Gabriel. All right, fine. Let's go back to the detention center to poke fun at it. Lost his edge worth some more. Mm. I think that Miles Edgeworth is a wet cat. Well, I can go to the Grossberg Law Offices. Who would have thought that would be a yeah. case? Yeah. As Midori 
kindly pointed out to you. Yeah, but I was at, like, I, there were some places that I couldn't actually get here from. Yeah, that's, the investigation segments can be a little bit weird like that. I didn't think I actually had to go here. Anyway, December 27th, Grossberg Law Offices. Mr. Grossberg, you're actually here. Oh, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. Why would he not be troubled? Well... I never ignore me, me, Dory. I am Maybe. me. I can't believe you're not. My, my, my. J just calm down and tell me. What's happened, hmm? It's Sir Edgeworth. He... I see. The so lost as Edward dreamt, he shot his own father. Midori is now speaking in the third person. Yes, and? And it's only a dream. Only a dream. Dot, dot, dot. I wonder. What? If that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled, hmm? Well... Also, consider this. Yugi quite, cl uh, quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Kilometers lost his Edgeworth. So deep, he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise. That Mr. Lost his Edgeworth's claim dream was not a dream. It was real. See, see, he killed his own dad. He killed his own dad. He's scum of the earth, and I need to get him thrown in jail. It was real, as you imagined. Kilometers lost his Edgeworth through the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired. And the deed was done. Hello, Midori. I can't ignore you now. <laughs> nope. Oh, Midori, you're in voice chat now. Hello, hello. I finally finished taking care of the animals. Fair enough. All right. Good animal. Anyway, Maya seems to have some kind of a line. I don't believe it. As in, I don't believe that Maya has a line. Oh, well, she does actually have a line. Yugi was suspected- Actually, I already said that. You interrupted me. I'm but sorry. Whatever. No, no worries. I am poking fun. Yugi was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Thus, he sought revenge on Kilometers Lost His Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with the Statute of Limitations so close. Alright, well, doesn't seem like there's anything important here to talk to Grossberg about, so I'll just examine. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, a lighter that's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. I guess this picture's never coming home, huh? Probably not at this point. And here's his plant, which is named Charlie, I believe. No, uh, your plant's named Charlie. I don't have a plant. Yeah, you do. It's in your office. Look at this desk. This is a fancy desk. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. And more legal books to mock Phoenix. Yeah, totally. Uh, is that's that all I can legal. investigate? I think that's all I can investigate. That's a nice looking chair he's got, though. Alright, let me present him with my attorney's badge. Uh, quite sorry. I have nothing to say concerning that. How about the picture of Misty Fay? Ah, she was a beautiful woman. I am truly sorry about what I did. Huh? Sorry about what? Uh, I think I'll stay out of this one. How about oh. Polly? Uh, quite sorry. I have nothing to say concerning that. Darn. The DL6 case file. 
This incident took place 15 years ago tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll see the completion of not one, but two trials, all thanks to the statute of limitations. However, I'm afraid the damage the DL6 incident has done will never quite be eased. The DL6 incident photo. I'll present this to him. Gregory lost his Edgeworth. He was a gifted man. His death was truly a loss. I wonder what would have become of Von Karma were he alive. Interesting. What about the letter from the safe? Oh ho! So this is... Well, I actually haven't spoken to him about the letter yet. I'm doing things... In co I present stuff before I talk, but yes. So this is the letter. It does seem that, you, that Yugi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yugi was a free man, but socially, he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. Wait, what is it? This letter. I've seen that handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Hmm. Well, I doubt it was Kilometers. I doubt it was Yami Yugi himself. Was it Manfred? V oh my goodness, is he going to go to jail? I don't know. Weren't you saying before that you thought it was Yami? Yes, yes, he well, was. Well, that, that who wrote the letter? Yeah, you, before you were saying you thought he wrote it to himself, so it's interesting that you're suddenly changing your mind. Well, that's because Manfred von Karma is now on the table. How do you know it's not a joke? Because the joke option is Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> who doesn't even exist, right? There is no such character as Miles Edgeworth. There's only Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth, so that couldn't possibly be an option anywhere. <laughs> oh, look, we got him to say Miles Edgeworth. Yeah, only because it's a joke option. There is no Miles Edgeworth. Mm-hmm. But okay, you know what? I'll go with Yami Yugi writing it to himself. I oh, I, I won't tell you what the right answer is. I just Maybe it was Yami Yugi? Hemi Yugi, you claim he wrote himself this letter, then followed his own instructions. I mean, if he really does have brain damage. Harumph! Perhaps you think Mr. Y Mr. Yugi has. I mean, if he really is Yugi, he probably. He actually does have a split personality. He's got the personality what lives in the little pyramid, and the personality that's his normal self. But no, it's, it's more so like he doesn't necessarily have a split personality. He's just got moments where he's more lucid than others. I think that's definitely a possibility, yes. Hmm. No, I think not. I do not know this Yugi in any case. There's no way I would recognize his handwriting. Oh, right. Yes, right. I'll ask you again. Do you have any idea who wrote it? Well, okay. It's not, again... The, the, the top option is not a real person, so it must be Von Karma. I love hmm. how he's making you tell him, and he can't figure out himself when he's the one that recognizes the handwriting. Yes, that that is in fact something that I find amusing. Hmm, could it be Manfred Von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Um, well I'm not... Oh, was he the one who lost that trial and he kind of tried to sweep it under the rug? We don't... Von Karma's never lost a trial. Well, we, we don't know who prosecuted that case. It might have been Von Karma, and he kind of just swept it away or something. Um, well, I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Von Karma. Von Karma. W wait, you're right, my boy. This is Von Karma's handwriting. I'm sure of it. I used to see it all the time on court reports. What? Uh, but that means that the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was, or Yugi, 
to kill. Correct. Manfred von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would von Karma want to frame Lost as Edgeworth? Well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm going with my original theory that Lost as Edgeworth actually did kill Robert Hammond. That makes a lot more sense than von Karma wanting to kill Hammond or frame his own protege. Are you sure you don't just want Edgeworth to be the guilty party? He is the guilty party. I think you're desperate, me. No! Why would Von Karma want to frame his own protege? Because Von Karma wants to be the only perfect person in the world, and he's jealous of Edgeworth being so much better than him. Except Lost as Edgeworth has lost three cases so far. Wait, who says he was even framing him for... Oh, wait. The letter says that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I spaced. I don't know, maybe... I, you know what? Yeah, I... Huh. Alright, let's actually talk to Grossberg. We'll talk to him about one Gregory lost his Edgeworth. What do you Gregory know? Gregory is super cool, regardless of your opinion on Miles. I just have to say that. Well, he fathered that kid, so... Where where was Loss's Edgeworth's mother in all this? Probably absent. That doesn't make sense. I, I think like outside of the Fae sisters, mothers just don't exist. I'm still trying to figure out who married Karma. Um, so yeah, the, the, that's actually valid. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I figured this out. I figured this out, I figured this out, I figured this out. This is a universe where there are only fathers... What's a universe where there are only mothers? Pokemon? They really are connected, which is how Larry Butts goes and ends up being Larry from Paldea! Then you have those- Yes! Oh my I god, know, I know. I think- You know, I think- I think Larry was once Barry. No. They both try to charge you a million yen. He doesn't try to charge me anything. Yes, he does at one point. He just when doesn't you, uh... pay me anything. No, there was a point where you asked for something from him, and he's like, yeah, for a million dollars. Nah, he was joking. I doubt it. Well, so is Barry. I mean, well, actually, Barry is being serious. No, Barry <laughs> Barry would love to have a million dollars. Larry and Barry are very much alike. They just screw you over. And they're very hyperactive. Nah, gra and kind granted, of yeah, exactly. Just think about it. They're very alike. So, Larry just got his name changed from Barry. That so his, in the wrong name all this wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. So his, his name was Barry Butts? <laughs> yes. And he got tired of that, so he changed it to Larry. No, because we saw earlier that his name was Larry when he was back in school. You don't know that. Think we literally saw Barry. that in the flashback. Maybe, maybe Phoenix had it wrong all this time. Phoenix has never had anything wrong. Anyway, what do you know about no, Lost Edwards? No, I don't know that Phoenix is incompetent and stupid. Phoenix is an idiot. You're gonna see. Oh gosh, I I, I know I he's an idiot. idiot. Look, I I know he's an idiot. This is why I'm the one in charge here. Yeah, and you're gonna get screwed over later. No, since since I'm the one who's in charge, it means Lost as Edgeworth is guilty. Oh, anyway, boy. what do you know? Uh, what do you know about Lost as Edgeworth's father? He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's but it's true. Well, he may have had one right. peer. What? What? Oh, uh, you know, trite. That becomes a little important later on, and it's in a completely different context. What? But whenever I see the word trite in Ace Attorney, I go nuts. Okay. Well, he may have had one peer, now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Faye. My sister? Gregory lost his Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man. Forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result, he has a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory lost his Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And... 
He lost, obviously, because Von Karma st still has a perfect record. And died in despair, as it were. I see. Tell me about the spirit medium. When Gregory lost his Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Fa So here's my question, right? This incident took place in an elevator. There were only three people in the elevator. How and why did they need a frickin' spirit medium to figure out who killed the guy? Um, they just wanted to be really sure. There was only two other people in the elevator that it could have been, and uh -huh. you could you and you could rule out suicide pretty pr pretty quickly, the same way Von Karma did with the guy in the boat. There was a probably a lot of mystery surrounding because everyone had been oxygen deprived and passed out when they found them. Okay, so you're gonna blame the nine year old kid, or you're gonna blame the adult? I thought you were blaming the nine year old kid. I know he is. Blaming I the blame the nine year old kid. <laughs> But the police sure as hell wouldn't. Well, maybe they wanted to be sure it was the adult. Because mm. no one was awake when it happened, at least that's the implication. Oh, uh, of using the spirit medium. Say no one was awake when it happened, no one can remember what happened. They had tried to be sure because they're just as lost too. Uh, that's fair, but I'm always lost. Anyway, that was your mother. I thought that was, thought that was Edgeworth. What? What about him? Well, you always say he lost his Edgeworth. He did so lose his Edgeworth. So how are you lost if he's lost? I just always get physically lost. Although not in this game. It's difficult to get uh, lost when you can't really walk around all that much. Um, I don't know. You were pretty lost when I was telling you exactly where to go and how to because get Because the Grossberg office wasn't available. I told you where to go so it would be available. And I deliberately said, I deliberately went places where I knew it wouldn't be available. Exactly, you ignored me. No, I didn't ignore you. I knew you what you were telling me to do. I, no, I, to, I knew I knew exactly what you were telling me to do, and I deliberately didn't do it. That is the opposite of ignoring. Same thing. You deliberately ignored me. Heck yeah. Oh, hey. A dead guy. I am Gregory Ed I am Gregory lost his Edgeworth. I had been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yami Yugi. Yet Yugi was found innocent. Technically technically he wasn't found innocent. I mean, yes, he was found not guilty, but he was technically the one who shot or allegedly shot lost his Edgeworth. Which uh, means Misty Fade didn't technically lead them to the wrong individual, so there was no reason for them to think she was a sham. That's another thing that doesn't make any sense about this, right? Again, being found not guilty by reason of temporary insanity is not the same as being found not guilty. It still means you did it, but it means you're not held responsible for your actions. So again, I don't see why anybody needed to go after Misty Fade for this. Um, well, people can just be cruel and irrational. That's and when my mother left us. Everyone called stupid. her a fraud. But that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. She found the right guy. And again, being declared not guilty by reason of insanity is not the same as being found not guilty. It still means you did it. I bet you Yogi is the one that started that, honestly. Anyway, that's I don't know, right. I don't know if that's true, but... Maybe so. It's a good headcanon. I don't uh, know. And by the way, not very many things make sense in this series, so... I, I seem to have noticed that. Anyway, that's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Lost's Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Lost's Edgeworth must have known who shot him. Oh, so the ghost lied because he didn't want to implicate his own son. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That lost his Edward's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. Tell me about Prosecutor Von Karma.
if it was if it truly was von karma who wrote this letter then he, then he would know the truth he would know that kilometers lost his edward had accidentally killed his own father what he'll say as much tomorrow in court i should think He'll press the point until a court finds Kilometers lost his Edgeworth guilty. Oh, good. That's excellent. And that is excellent news, Mr. Grossberg. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Good news. But how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. Hmm, that I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. Hat man, knife, redhead. Yes, I am aware of that. But again, I'm not trying to get Losses Edgeworth proven guilty for the crime that I'm defending him for. I'm just trying to get him prosecuted for murdering his dad. It's a completely separate thing, and the hat man said nothing about that. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory lost his Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. Unfortunately, it is late over here, so I'm going to have to get ready to take my leave. Alright, well, thank you for stopping by, then. Uh-huh. Let's learn about will... Greg... G hmm? Ah, I will see you guys probably tomorrow on the forums or whatever. Very good. Alright. All right. I feel so like I should, be pulling up a, should I be pulling up a script now? <laughs> you probably should, yes. Yeah, okay, what are we on? We're on nine. Gregory versus Manfred. Okay, that's... Look, yeah. that may still be a guilty verdict, Luna, but it's not the guilty verdict that I was told not to get in. Uh, weren't you told to just get him off scot-free? Like, no. Oh, I will show you exactly what I was told him. I was told, right? The hat man says he'll hurt Yoko if you don't defend Mr. Lost, his Edgeworth. I have defended okay. him. It's not my fault if he's actually guilty. It says, okay, that the hat man will hurt if you don't defend Mr. All it says is if you don't defend him, so you yes. have to defend him all the way. No. It, it, yes. Look, it, it doesn't say that I have to get him an innocent verdict. Well, you still have to defend him. As long as you defend him to the end, what happens, happens. Fine. Anyways, I have the script up. Alright, let's look at Gregory versus Manfred. What happened in the trial between Lost is Edward's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Lost is Edward accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Lost is Edward's accusation stood. All the evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory lost his Edward Delta Blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took his vacation for several months after that, you see. A uh, vacation? Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and last vacation he's taken in his many, many years prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or uh, the mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. Was he you... born in Europe? He's German, yes. You have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. In any case, that was the only time he took vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? Uh, does it have Maya up? Yes. Okay. What do we do, Nick? Von Karma's gonna bring up DL6. You can bet on it. 
What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? Then it's out of my hands. I said, then it's out of my hands. Damn you, Phoenix! That's not the line. <laughs> I know. Damn you to hell, Phoenix. I won't let him. Er, um, yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know. See? See? He's guilty. Guilty. That's why D. Vasquez went to prison. <laughs> what? That's why D. Vasquez went to prison. Yes. So send him to jail. Guilty. Okay, carry on. Carry on. I know that. I I just believe in loss of Edgeworth's innocence. I can't believe he'd kill someone. But but Nick, Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not good. Damn you to hell, Phoenix. What are you trying? Damn you to hell, Phoenix. I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. The police materials. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I wonder where this is going. Probably nowhere good. Alright, I think that's going to be everything that I can do with this guy. So, police materials, A. Eh? Well, I wonder where that's leading me to go. Perhaps. Can't imagine where. Well, there's only two places I can go, the Wright & Co. Law Offices or the Detention Center. Uh, well, obviously you have to move from one of those places to wherever you have to go next. Let's go laugh at Edgeworth again. Alright, let's see. What do I want to talk to him about? I don't think there's anything I can talk to him about now. What should I present him with? The Misty Fay? No. Can you already present him with anything? Oh, right. I didn't present him with the picture of his dad. Let me present him with the picture of his dad. How about you just click move and go to a different location? But I never actually got to show him the picture of his dad. But fine. We'll move to the Gord Lake entrance? Police files. Yeah, we'll find those at, well, what's his name? Um, what's his, uh, the gumshoe is at Gord Lake. I, I went to the criminal affairs department earlier and I couldn't get into the record room without it. So I gotta go back. Too early. Yeah, but they said he wasn't coming back today because he had to go catch the boat guy. So I gotta go to Gord Lake to go find Gumshoe. No. Fine. I've literally just beat this case. <laughs> All right, we're in the. Hmm. All right. There's hardly anyone here. Every, everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yugi. Ah, it's you! I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. You're staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe has pounded the pavement for real. Um, we were wondering if we could check out the record room, records room again. <laughs> well now, I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma is in there now anyway. You can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived, actually. N oh, Nick, let's oh. hurry! No, I think I'm gonna dawdle and examine everything again. Um, the only thing that changes is that detective. I know, again. I know, I know. What's he studying this time? So, um, what are your hobbies? Well, I like to do steakhouse now and then. 
<laughs> he must be doing image training for a first day. <laughs> image training for a first date. Not you. The all-important calendar. All right. Well, I guess we should go back to the Wright & Co. law offices because clearly we're not allowed in... Oh, hey, the records room. Really? Well, well, well. The records room. Dusty is always... We were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Von Karma. Oh, that drawer is, uh, pulled out. Interesting. Only, like, one other thing you can examine, which is some cabinet that has, like, new text. And if you examine that drawer, it's gonna progress the story. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not investigating that cabinet, or that, that, that drawer. It's very clearly not important. Very clearly not important. Anything else? Like Anything? So there's like one thing that has new, according to at least the script, there's one thing that has new text. What would it outside be? Outside of that open door. Uh, cabinets it's labeled. That's all it labeled. It's probably those ones you just pass over. Like, as long as, I think as long as you don't click on the open door. Oh, yes. Some uh, of these things, might... some of the things are obviously murder weapons, others uh, are yeah, question that's, marks. That's the one. Most of it just looks like random junk. Nick, what do you think this clothespin is for? Don't touch that. It's evidence. That's the same text that it was last time. I'm pretty was sure. Was it? Yeah. I just know. I, I don't know if that's what it shows on the script. Anyway, Von Karma's not here, so I should probably be leaving. There's nothing else suspicious in this room. Yeah, certainly don't click on the open drawer. But it was probably like that yesterday. It was not. I seem to recall it being like that yesterday. Click on the drawer. Okay, I'll click on this drawer. It's the clothespin line again. Alright, what about this drawer over here? No? Click on the open drawer. All right, fine. I'm sure Stop it's not important. Look, I'm sure it's not important, though. But I'll click on it anyway. <sighs> huh? One of the drawers here is open. Did you actually click on it? Yes. Okay. Someone must have been looking in it recently. It's probably nothing and completely unrelated to this case. After all, they've got plenty of other cases they're working on, right? So let's just the close... Let, let's just close that drawer, and we'll, we'll leave it the way we found it yesterday. Why are you avoiding it so much? Because it's not important. Yeah, yeah. The label says, Unsolved Cases Evidence. Hmm. Unsolved Cases? Well, that's Nick, not important. The Nick, the file for DL6, it's completely empty. What? What What are you... Oh, what are you doing in here? Hey! The, on Karma! You... How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? Wh what are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edwards' defense team. The defense team? Ahem, I beg your pardon. You see, I really remember defense attorneys. They are like bugs to me, needless things to be crushed. Like the fawful munchers they are. 
I can see how this guy was lost as Edgeworth's mentor. Look at that. Look at his friendly face. He is actually... Uh, he actually might be creepier. It, his front-facing view is so creepy. It's, like, even worse in the sprite art because he looks even, like, older and wrinklier. Hmm. That's why I'm wondering, who the heck married him? I and had a kid with him. Yes, well, I wonder the same thing. Anyway, let me present him with my attorney badge. Fool! You think I, a prosecutor, would give you a defense attorney information? Bah! Alright, fine, let's talk to the friendly fellow. Let's talk about kilometers. Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? Like me. Dot dot dot! A romanticist who still can't shed that veneer of amateurism! Just like his father, always second rate! Mr. Von Karma, you had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Lost as Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record? Humph! <laughs> so you did. But what I don't get is, why did you take his son under your wing afterward? The son of your most bitter rival. That, that, that! That, my dear attorney, is none of your business! Tomorrow's trial. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial! It's been a while since I had the defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Kilometers lost his Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. Oh, hello, Dawning. Hi. How you feeling? You can voice Maya. <laughs> an Emmy stands on, on Prosecutor Von Karma. What? What? What about Von, about Von Karma? What? What's your current stance on him? He looks like a, a very character. friendly fellow. <laughs> I mean, just just Do look at him. Not just present evidence of his <laughs> crimes to him. Not yet. No. He's on talk. Oh. I, yeah. I, I, I'm literally talking to him about how he was friendly enough to basically adopt his former his former arch nemesis' his kid and take him under his wing. He's a friendly fellow. You know, I do wonder why he did take Edgeworth. We literally just asked that question you know, and he said it's none of our business. That never actually made sense to me. It, right? The only answer I have is him being a very petty bit. Which he is. I, oh, well, oh. We, we all know Karma is, in fact, a bitch. Hi, Luna. How are you feeling, Dawning? I don't I think I got an answer to that question. What, what did you... Did, 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 what was that? I was asking how you're feeling. Ah, I'm alive. I probably should not have gone to play rehearsal, but I did. Uh, these things happen. I mean, I suppose you, you have to go occasionally if you're actually in the play, right? Yes. That is but unfortunate. But also, I am maybe not physically well enough that I should have. Yeah. No, you were telling me earlier you're not feeling well. That's unfortunate. Aww. Now, I... I checked my temperature earlier and it was borderline fever. Um, have you taken so medication? So maybe I shouldn't have, but... What? Have you taken medication? I have not, now. Uh, maybe take some medication. It might help. I don't know that I have any, any on hand. Well, so then get some on foot. To get you some. Or, actually, yeah, do what Midori said. That makes much more sense than what <laughs> I said. You think anything is open this time of night? Yes. It's it's still very early. What? What time is it where what you are? What the hell is open at nine thirty at night? My Probably streams. Probably most Walgreens and stuff. <laughs> what the fuck is a Walgreens? It's a pharmacy. CVS. <laughs> CVS or Walgreens? You you forget. Dawning we lives in the middle of nowhere. We don't have either of those things. <laughs> oh, she's in the middle of nowhere. Like literally the middle of nowhere. Oh. 
Yeah, I won't live in the middle of nowhere for a while right now. Please remember real. that Walmart. this town does not even have traffic lights. Of does course, I don't have a Walgreens. So you don't even have, like, Walmart? No. I could not live in these conditions. I'm moving to the middle of nowhere. I know you are. Really, really pretty. Why. But Walmart's only, like, 20 minutes away, so not too bad. Well, I think we also have a different idea of what is and is not close by than someone like Dawning. Yeah. It just sounds like she lives in a town where ev everything is technically a small-owned business. Just about. Ow. Anyway, I believe I was talking about... So I, I was talking to this Von Karma fellow about getting a guilty verdict on one kilometers lost as Edgeworth for a murder 15 years ago. Which, by the by, is a different guilty verdict than saying he killed Robert Hammond. The hat man still won't accept it. The hat man is really rude. Because he's, he's literally guilty of it. He confessed. He was a nine-year-old oxygen-deprived child. Yeah, so he'd probably get off on a technicality. You actually think his memory of this incident is clear? Enough. And look, if he's Holding really... The hat man wouldn't take it. If he's really guilty, there's nothing I can do. My hands are tied. You can always lie. I'm not supposed to do that. I do that all the time anyway. Yeah, but I'm not you. Anyway, his guilt of 15 years ago, you mean. Dot, dot, dot! You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what kilometers lost as Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. All right, let me present him with... The autopsy report. Fool! I did already. You think I, a prosecutor, will give you a defense attorney information? Bah! Creep. <laughs> All right, how about Misty Faye's photo? Nothing. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything I can actually can uh, actually give him that will that will do anything. This guy is this guy is there. um. He's just a, a a wall. I can't get I can't get anything from him. Uh, you'll you'll just have to present any every single thing and see what works. Oh, it might be the parrot. <laughs> yes, it's totally the parrot. Behold, my star witness. Von Karma is fucking insane in regards to that parrot. I'm sure he is. Alright, fine. The DL6 photo? Which I wanted to present to Lost as Edgeworth, but Maya wouldn't let me. Do you actually think it was a good idea? <laughs> yes! Well, okay, there's nothing else that I could present to him with. I've, I've covered everything through the DLC incident photo. And there's one more item in your court record. He's, I think you missed one uh, right after the photo. So oh. Just try that thing. Just, yeah. Well, it's just you a piece of... He, I'm sure it doesn't do anything, but you yeah, might as well he, try. He's, he's probably I, just going to say nothing. Right, it's it's just a piece of paper. Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. Dot, dot, dot. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yami Yugi to commit murder. Dot, dot, dot. Yami Yugi? How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. Oh good, so he actually admitted it. Uh, so, so, so you admit it? You, you wrote Mr. Yugi this letter? Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? What? Dude, you came in like perfect part <laughs> for voicing Maya. <laughs> What's that thing? 
Oh god! Hey, look at he looks even I... friendlier now. <laughs> no, he don't. Stop scratching your face. Look at how friendly he <laughs> looks. Yeah, that's like all friendly. Uh, that's a stun gun for self defense usually, but he's a prosecutor. We don't have to worry about him defending anybody, <laughs> even himself. Ergo, he's not going to use that because, again, he can't use it. It's for defense Early only. Early at no point in this entire series will I, any prosecutor stand at the defense's bench. <laughs> it's a stun. Anyway, indeed! 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000. Mine, mine probably wouldn't be phased. Oh, don't do worry. Whatever. People don't die from it, usually. Now, give me the letter. No. <laughs> oh. Wait, whoa, what are you? I think... I think she tried to ah, uh, and then it didn't work because the mic cut out. It started cutting off even before then. Her mic really doesn't let her... Uh, my not, my mic doesn't understand the intricacies of acting. Nick, run! Ah. It's not even that, that high pitched. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit. Look. I don't know why your mic is cutting out when it's you're still being really low. Maya, out of my way! Wah! Dot 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 dot. And I think Phoenix just got zapped. Ugh, he got us. The letter's gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence, all of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first. M Maya, is she okay? Oh well, she's gone. Too bad. You wouldn't uh, and to abandon a goblin in need. Well, she assaulted a prosecutor. He, he assaulted her first! You. No, no. Oh, Great. she's actually still there. Maya, open your eyes. Maya! Huh? Uh, the letter. Did he take it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Are you okay? I... I couldn't stop him. I, I just... I jumped as fast as I could, but... One shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm not good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not now, when we need her the most. I... I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Oh dear. Poor Maya. Maya! There has to be some way I can help her. I'd better do something about her self-confidence first. Question mark? M Maya? She's holding something. What is that? A bullet? DL6 incident evidence number seven taken from the heart of Gregory Lost as Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped in. DL6 bullet stashed in a pocket. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. To be continued. Well, 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 well. Nick would never er, succeed as a lawyer without a goblin assistant. Which is he why, really which is why he's retiring after this to go run the wet noodle, which definitely exists. No, it don't. Well, yes, it, it does. It's just called the Wet Noodle. Anyway, we are at and a it's good... it's a completely different store. We are at a good uh, stopping point right now, so I'm going to take a quick break. And I suppose I will deal with the trial and voicing that loud Von Karma fellow probably one last time, considering I know where this is going. Well, at this point, what I do. mean you know where this is going? Well, clearly I know that Lost as Edgeworth is guilty, so... Anyway, I will return shortly.
Spencer, you're not even chewing anything? Oh, you do have a toy, okay. You're speaking to the dog, that means you owe me pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, did you, did you not see the picture I posted in the warm chat earlier? Yeah, I saw it already, but you owe me more because you spoke <laughs> to the dog now. <laughs> he, he does this grinding thing with his teeth. And I can never tell if he's chewing a toy or if he's just grinding his teeth. Dogs are strange creatures. He is. There. I sent a picture of him. And where is the other one? Dead on the bit couch. I don't actually know where my third dog is. She must be in my uh, room. You have three dogs, a bird, a turtle, and a cat, right? Yeah, and every single one of them's needy as heck. The turtle, turtle are needy? Every time he finishes eating all his crickets, he sits there in his tank glaring, saying, Buy me more. Now. <laughs> Could you not? I don't think I've ever owned a turtle or really lived with a turtle at all. So. My, mine has become extremely spoiled. Let me see. Uh -oh, my mom sent me a picture of him in his tank the other day glaring at her for crickets. Like I said, he... He wants when he wants them, he just glares at us and tear and makes a mess of his tank. You see, or throwing his food everywhere. Hey, still a toy venture? No, you it, you're foaming. Gross. Uh. Midori does, in fact, have a large number of animals, Lissy. She lives I only in a have zoo. six right now. Yes, and I only have four. You have more animals than I have. <laughs> when I move out to the middle of nowhere, it's going to increase to, I believe... Nine, and I was promised an owl, so ten. <laughs> Did I really have a zoo? Because there's a raccoon. You were... You're gonna get a raccoon? My mom's getting married. That's why I'm moving. So I can sell oh. my house. So I'm moving to a whole other state. But her uh, fiance has a raccoon and two dogs. I was not aware it was legal to own a raccoon as a pet. In certain places. Huh. I have my three cats and my absolute idiot of a dog. Uh, my cat's just, cat remains a complete psycho. There are claims that Zora is a psycho, but I don't believe them. No, my cat 100% is a psycho. 100%. She also tries to eat my bird all the time. And I want kisses. No. Me's break for this stream is just going to consist of me talking to my dogs.
All right, so uh, where were we? Uh, DW's taking her temperature. That's probably a smart move. Uh, she doesn't have headphones right now. She'll put them back on when uh, she confirms whether she has a fever or not, apparently. They banned it. No, stay. Okay. D -d -d Basically, your whole break consisted of me talking to my dogs. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Wait, what do you mean something tells me I won? What did I win? What? Luna said something tells me he's not going to turn around on him. Something tells me me won. What did I win? I have no idea, actually. Anyway. She, she messed up uh, typing. I see. Well, it's time for the final day of trial. The final day. Welcome back. Do you have fever? Nah. Unconfirmed. I have the headphones around my neck with the, X, X, with the sound turned way up so I can still hear. I see. Me? Let's, what? Make sure you scream well. Uh, No. My wife is already yes. mad at me for being too loud when I stream as is. <laughs> Did I not tell you this? No, I didn't know that. I think I've heard this once or twice. Yeah, yeah no. I, I believe me, I have heard it constantly. At, you... well, so la last week when she got home from class... Right, I think You're I mentioned that I heard her comment. The, the, literally, thing. the first thing she heard as she was walking in my front door, which, by the way, is upstairs, like through the kitchen and like through the the living. She heard me shouting "objection" in my loud von Karma voice. <laughs> right, I think so, it's worth it because the voice is that good. But I well, maybe. You might need to soundproof that room. We we are going to do that at some point, but we have not done that yet. So yes, at some point I will be able to be loud, but at this point, like, okay, I will still be somewhat loud with my objections with Von Karma, but I, I will try to keep it down. I mean, you may have noticed that I was trying to keep it down a bit when I was voicing him in the records room. Mm -hmm. Aw, but the screams on this I feel like so you... good. Him being quieter out of court feels a bit na more natural anyway. Yeah. That's reasonable. Anyway, this is it. Judgment Day. Today, things are going to get settled, settled at last. A lot of things. W warg w What's the big idea? Uh, sorry, Nick. I, I only touched your shoulder. I, I guess the shot hasn't worn off. But from my run-in with the stun gun yesterday. You're still carrying a charge from that? <laughs> yes, he is. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Dot, dot, dot. Lost as Edgeworth is looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. Dot, dot, dot. Whoa! What are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry. Just I thought I'd cheer you on with a pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge. <laughs> right. Good idea. How do I feel about the name von Karma? It's, it's very appropriate, Cats. It's it's very appropriate. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Leave that to the electric chair. Woo ya, pal! <laughs> hey, it's Gumshoe. Don't want to use discharge, it's super effective. Hey, what's gotten into that girl? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Morning, Mr. Lost is Edgeworth. Uh, good morning. How'd it go, Detective? Have no fear. As promised, I captured our runaway caretaker. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. I'm exhausted, but it was worth it. Bada bing. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Actually, after all that, uh, after that shock, I, uh, after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. 
Yugi says he's forgotten his own name. That's why he thinks he's Yami, he's Yanni Yogi, but he's actually Yami Yugi. Me, Dory, I was not going to accept end endgame while it was technically, theoretically possible for me to win, even if it was functionally impossible. I don't the know what you're thing, talking about. Uh, we mafia just completed game. a game, a Mafia game on Zelda, which ironically, oh. I could have made it to where I lasted another night and probably lynched you. Why would he want revenge well, on Mr. Lofton? I Lofton's wanted to shoot one person successfully. Hey, I won. That's all I care about. Even if I died, I still won. <laughs> I have no idea what either of you are talking about. It sounds like a funner game than the one the four of us, including yes, Caps, just was. participated it in. It was. And I was actually Mafia in this game. Fun. I converted to serial killer at the end of the <laughs> Day four, was Damn it? it! That explains the shin, the, the 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 knife in my shin again. Always with the knife in my shin with you. You have a serial killer and a, mo I a Godfather I'm here. A gun, and I used, and I only successfully shot one person. Which is apparently me. Game. All right. Oh no no you. Well, I, technically I two. attempted to shoot OG sniper. Which would have ruined my serial killer win con. Court is now but in session for the trial him. of Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth. I attempted to shoot the hose, but the not defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> that 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 the prosecution is ready. Uh, all right, very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be awed into silence by every little thing he says. Very well, Mr. Von Karma. Your opening statement. His right! Von Karma accent is perfect, Cap. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. Ladies and gentlemen of the court! That I technically speaking do not have fever. I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he currently he has currently lost his memory of his name and identity. Witness? Why did you run away yesterday? OBJECTION! The witness was not running away, as he will now testify! I, I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. Why I left court. I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. But I wasn't running away or nothing. I, uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Or, I mean, I'd need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yami Yugi. You're Yami Yugi, and I'm going to prove it. I'm really sorry about leaving, uh, about just leaving yesterday like I did. I wasn't running away or nothing. I uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? You had nothing to do with this case, eh? I'm gonna press you on that. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Er, uh, yep, seems like it. Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh, or, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory. Mm -hmm. You know exactly who you are. OBJECTION! The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. If you claim he is lying, then show the court proof. Grr. How am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old codger's head? 
That's impossible. Humph! I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. Er, I mean, I'd need one of them... I'd need one of them motive things, right? I don't got one. No, I think you do. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Lost as Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? OBJECTION! Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright! This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible! I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over again until the trial ends. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Uh, yes, Your Honor? You've been saying the same thing now, over and over. You've been calling the witness's memory of the past, or lack thereof, into question. But does this really have anything to do with this current case? Of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has, quote, nothing to do with this case, and, quote, no motive. Both of these statements are lies. Uh, order, order. Uh, pastrami on rye. Peppered salami. I don't need to order. I ate eat on my way home. Oh, good. You actually had dinner. Congratulations. I had dinner too, but I'm still hungry. It was hungry. maybe not the best idea. <laughs> All right. Ham sandwich for Luna, chicken salad pl uh, for Caps fan. Good. Mr. Wright, this is a, there is a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Oh, -ho! Now, this is, now this is interesting. I would like to know myself. So, who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness's name. Oh, it's clearly Gregory lost his Edgeworth. He's actually alive. He wasn't shot 15 years ago. No. And it's definitely Robert Hammond, the victim. No. He's Yami <laughs> Yugi, and it's time to die! His name is Yami Yogi. His name is Yami Yugi, a former court bailiff. Yogi, that name seems familiar. Oh! Yami Yugi from the DL6 incident. It figures the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. Also, he's old. He probably presided over it if he's like the only judge. But what does this mean? Your there Honor. are two judges in this district. Yeah, but, like, it seems like this one gets everything. Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yugi, then he has a very clear motive. OBJECTION! Tisk, tisk, tisk! Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright! This man, this witness, is Yami Yugi! Fascinating! Last I heard, he was in Egypt, you stupid fawful muncher! <laughs> However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? Dot, dot, dot. This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. If I can't prove he's Yugi right here, right now, then I've got nowhere else to go. Eh? How are you going to prove it? How can you prove he's Yami Yugi? I can challenge him to a duel. The, the, the duel. It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yami Yugi 15 years ago. I see. That makes sense. Disk, disk, disk! Huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. W why The witness has no fingerprints. What? What? No fingerprints? Oh yeah, probably from cooking his noodles. Er, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked in a chemical plant. I probably inhaled way too many of those chemicals, man. I burned my fingers working with the stuff. Uh, yep. What? Yugi, you sneak. You burn your fingerprints off to hide your past. Hmm. Well, if it the witness painful. 
Dude is, in fact, high off his rockers, yeah. If the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. No. Disc, disc, disc. Well, now what, you, now what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh... Hmm? It seems that the case has been decided, no? No. I know what happened. I know everything. I, I just can't... Yes, you can. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. What are we going to do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his own fingerprints. What do I do? Disc, disc, disc. Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine his parrot for a little comic ro He skewered himself, didn't he? For a little comic relief, hmm? I actually know that's a brilliant idea, Phoenix. One bird to another, Phoenix to parrot. Yeah, yeah, very funny, or a sore winner, Von Car. Wait a second. Cross examine his. Pa yes, that is a brilliant idea. You will actually yeah. get. You will actually get better conversation and more intelligent testimony out of that parrot than out of his owner or basically anybody else we've seen in this game so far. He really will. <laughs> and he won't perjure himself. What? Or she won't perjure herself. What is? Oh, what? What is it, Nick? No, you're not going to. Your Honor. The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. <laughs> yes. Take Mr. Von Karma up. Oh my. On, on my proposal. Yeah, maybe interview Missile, too. Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parent. <laughs> oh, God, this is hilarious. Uh, order, order. Uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Need I, need you even ask? This is a farce. I object. Objection. Objection. Wait a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. I have a right to do as you suggested. Mm -hmm. That, that, that. Well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest. Of course, should you go through with this and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Nick! Crazy. No, that parrot is more, is more intelligent than like three quarters of the people in this damned universe. This is the best idea Who's anyone has ever than the had. Parrot? Hmm? Which, which quarter of the people are smarter than the parrot? Me. That's not a whole quarter of the cast. Fair enough. Well, still want to go through with your little game? Of course I do. It's the best idea. Let the parrot take the stand and hopefully not poop on it. I will cross-examine her, Your Honor. Yes, even Edgeworth is dumber than the parrot. Yeah, this is the most the ridiculous parrot. thing I have ever heard. Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence, except the parrot. <laughs> you see, it's like I said, he spent, he, like, when, when, he when Court took recess last time, he basically spent five minutes just yelling at Larry <laughs> in German. <laughs> so he rigged even Larry's testimony, except the parrot. She's my last chance. He did least. a bad job of it, but I yeah, he so. tried. Bailiff, Larry bring in the parrot. Larry is impossible to uh, rig. I mean, he's just... He, he was terrified, though. <laughs> Hello, Bulba Garden. You came just in time for the best testimony. Uh, the best bird. testimony. That's quite a bird. Hello, KR. Please, hey, tell KR. us your name. Dot, dot, dot. Name. Dot, dot, dot. The witness is ignoring me. <laughs> yes, the, ignore, the, the, the witness is preening her feathers. It must hurt to be ignored by a bird. Ahem, very well, witness. <laughs> Who is your owner? Please, er, testify for us. Hello, Bulbagarden. Like I said, you're just in time for the best testimony. <laughs> Who is your owner? Dot, dot, dot. Hello. Hello. Squawk. Dot, dot, dot. 
Yes, I see. The best testimony. <laughs> hmm. Certainly the most concise testimony we've had so far. Yes, but it's very insightful. Do you not see, Judge? This explains everything. Very well. Begin your cross examine. Yes, begin your cross examination. Right. What are you going to do, Nick? Dot, dot, dot. I, I don't know. <laughs> what do we do, Maya? Who is your owner? Hello! Hello! Squawk! Alright, bird. Please tell me what you know. <laughs> Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Uh, right! Uh, what do I say? Have we forgotten something? What's your name or what's the safe number? Uh, let's say, what's your name? Maybe I should get her to say her name. Polly! Polly! What's her name? P Polly! Polly! Squawk! Mr. Wright, I think we've established that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with her owner's identity? Uh, hmm. You might want to read over some of the evidence really quick. Court record. This might be a good idea. Yeah. In particular, stuff that might uh, relate to Yami Yugi. Yami Yugi? What do I even have? Wait, uh, I thought... The, you, do, he, you do have some DL6 stuff. I thought... Von Karma Grab took it all. No, he took now. the stuff you didn't have already. So oh, you must have left that I stuff see. in your office. So you might, yeah, I would read over that. That kind of has information that you need right now. Ah, yes. Suspect data, Yami Yugi. Court bailiff trapped in an elevator with the lost as Edgeworths. Memory loss due to oxygen deprivation after his arrest. Fiance, huh. Polly Jenkins, eh? Yeah, that makes sense. Of course. Yes, it does. Ha! Ah, fascinating! You claim that the parrot's name will prove her owner's identity. Do I have a golden pyramid and a jumbo tube of hair? Yes, he does. Well, actually, that would prove it, too. I've got to get the, the, the golden pyramid, yes. Then show us this proof. Nick? you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen, we're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that he is Yami Yugi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yugi. Your Honor, the proof that the parrot's name reveals the caretaker's identity is... I did check this last week, actually, but I did forget. So I will... So I have to present the whole thing, right? I can't well, just present can't part present of it. Part of it. No, yeah, uh, you will present the whole thing, and then it will make you yes, choose okay. a part. The DL6 case file. Objection! That is quite the large file you have there. Which page is the proof? Is this proof on then? Show us, or stop wasting our time. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please show us the page. Where in this file is this information connected to the parrot's name? Suspect data. It's on the suspect data page. Dot 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 question mark? This page has all the information about Yami Yugi. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide, see? Hmm, indeed it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly! Exactly, Your Honor. He wanted to remember the name of his fiance who had committed suicide. That's why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that is possible. Objection! Bah! A mere coincidence. That is all. My granddaughter has a dog she calls Phoenix. Well, Mr. Phoenix Wright, does that make you my granddaughter's fiancé? Only if you want me to be, sir. She's only seven years... She's only seven years old! Oh. 
Well, no. Hmm, indeed. Alone it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. We would need some other corroborating evidence. Where am I going to find that? I you would like to request that you repress as have as we forgotten something before you repress. Who press, uh, what is the same number? And I'm gonna say, maybe you should be careful what you say before you say it. Look, he's old enough to have a granddaughter who's actually marriable yeah. age. But you, you said you literally... No. What did I say? It, 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 you're like, oh, if you want me to, before you had clicked on the... Oh, she's seven years old. Yeah, I didn't know that. Again, he's old. Look at how old he is. Yeah, do you know how young That's Francisca is? Record. How, well, I don't he's know how 65. old he's. He's 65. Francisca, he's, yeah, he's, he's old enough. He's old enough to have kids in his 30s, or or even yeah. 40s at this point. Franz, Francisca. So his kids are old enough to be in their, tw or his grandkids are old enough to be in their 20s. His youngest daughter's yeah, 18. 18. Well, I don't know we'll that. We have a second child old as well because there's no way Francisca has a seven-year-old daughter. It... Yeah, no, definitely not. I still want to know who married Von Cara. Who would marry that face? Look at him. He's adorable. He's very friendly looking. You know, I already knew you had bad taste considering <laughs> your history with Mally. <laughs> Wait. Anyway. He likes Mally? Oh, no, I don't, but... This is... Dawning... Did, did, did you see what <laughs> Lissy did? did? Did you see what Lissy did? Caps yes, is did. the money! I'm very proud of her. What did Lissy do? Go we check the War Room Discord. Oh, no. One more if we can just get one more uh, piece so, of evidence. Caps, I don't know if the money is worth the, uh... Oof. You know. Very well, witness. You may continue. Dot dot dot. Well, I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yugi. Hey, that's my line. Oh right. Sorry. <laughs> Fine. I'll just voice the parody. Have we forgotten something next? Hello, hello, Squawk. All right, let's press. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Why don't you talk to her? Hi. What do I say? What's the safe number? As opposed to the unsafe no, number. No, do have we forgotten something next. Fine, but only because you're sick. Yeah, he says he's never lost a case, so he probably does earn a lot of money. Anyway, have we forgotten something? As I recall, two days ago... Polly! Polly! Have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6! Squawk! If I can get Polly to say that here, that will prove that the caretaker had something to do with DL6. Um, Polly, have we forgotten something? Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. Hello, hello, Squawk. You're supposed to say forgot something we forgot. Hello, hello, Squawk. Uh oh, it's not working, Nick. She won't say it. This is ridiculous. Why won't she say it? Disc, disc, disc. Something's a matter, Mr. Right. Wait. Don't tell me Von Karma expected this. He couldn't have retrained the parrot, could he? Did he train her not to respond when we asked if we'd forgotten anything? How? He didn't have enough I love time! This. I love this. I love the fact that this man canonically retrained a parrot overnight. <laughs> How? But okay, fine. No. You want to say your line this time? Yes, please. Well, uh, I guess we should try to get some information out of her. We we need to show the judge that her owner is Mr. Yuki. All right, I will press you again. 
my fine feathered friend. Witness, you can't just say hello and expect that blah blah blah, we've heard this before. Maya, you talk to her. R right what do I say? What's the safe number? I bet you he didn't think of this one, even though he knows we actually got into the safe. Maybe I'll get her to say the number of that safe. The safe? Why? Let's just talk to... Let's just try to get her to say anything, okay? Polly! What was the number to the, of, the of the safe in the shack? One, two, two, eight! One, two, two, eight! He is incredibly efficient. Dot, dot, dot. My, what a reckless parrot. Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the caretaker. Of course it does. Actually, it does. That's why I had her say it. Ha! Ah, ridiculous! How can the number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us the proof. What could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true identity? I'm guessing it's the uh, DLC 6 case file again. And the fact that the incident uh, took place on December 28th. Yeah. Yeah, so it's literally the case summary. Mm hmm. This one. The DL6 case file! What is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright, where in this file is something relating to that safe number? Case summary. It's on the case summary page. The case summary? Specifically, the date on which the DL6 incident occurs. The date of the incident, December 28th. Why, that's today's date, 15 years ago. And the number on the safe is... 1228. Ah! He used the date of the DL6 incident as the number for his safe, Your Honor. That's how important that date was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their secret numbers to dates. OBJECTION! Bah! This is not tangible proof! I set my ATM... <laughs> I set my ATM's card number to 0001 because I am number one! Uh, dumbass, you just revealed that in court. <laughs> that has let's, nothing... Let's, uh, let's hack his account and steal all his money now. <laughs> we can do that, yeah. That has nothing to do with the date. Nothing! That's enough. I think we've reached a conclusion here. This is a mere coincidence. That is all. True, that is a possibility. Yes, we are number one. However, two coincidences at the same time... Seems more like a pattern to me. What? what are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop. Immediately. Summon him in attack mode or defense mode, your honor? <laughs> well, if he is Yami Yugi, we need to know. And is this considered a special summon or a normal summon? Normal, obviously. I would but... guess it is. Yeah, it's normally. Anyway, special which... summon one was was when Gumshoe hit the pavement searching for him. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with the date. Why did I just get charged a large latte? Yes, KR. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can now use Von Karma's ATM to get <laughs> all the orders we're due from the da from the damn food court. About damn time. <laughs> Anyway, tell us your name. OBJECTION! Wait! This witness, he doesn't remember! No, it's okay. Oh, wow. I've accomplished what I want to do. I'm done. Nick? He looks totally different! This is the real Yugi, I think. Fine. Oh ho! So he went from being regular Yugi to Yami Yugi. <laughs> this is the real Yugi, I think. <laughs> finally, he's been acting feeble to hide his true identity. Acting for 15 years. W well, let me ask you again. Please state your name for the court. My name. My name is Yami Yugi. Did you see what Luna posted in the chat? Oh no. 
<laughs> no, he really Luna, isn't. you have no taste. <laughs> he, he does look better now he's standing up straight and stuff. He kind of looks musclier. You do have to admit that. He looks angrier. Now, Jeff looks like a guy. An old guy. <laughs> he looks less old. Fifteen years ago, I served no. as a bailiff to the, in this very court. <clears throat> order. Order. On Von Karma's tab. Yemi Yugi. So it was you who killed Robert Hammond. And tried to frame Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth for his death. Yes, it, yes, it was me. I did it. They put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond, he said I was mentally unst- Aha! Yes, so Robert Hammond, that's true. It's, it's what, Gross, uh, what Grossberg said, right? Hammond won the case purely for his own, right? Purely for his own ego. And to do that, he uh -huh. forced Yami Yugi to pretend to be mentally incompetent, which forced him to do that for the last 15 years. Robert Hammond, he said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent. Get me off the hook. So I pretended to have brain damage. And eventually, it actually became real brain damage when I inhaled too many of those chemicals at the last place I worked. Oh boy. I was innocent, really, but he didn't believe me. We won the trial, but I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiance, my social standing, and my marbles. Then this year, 15 years later, a package arrived. It was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't care who had sent it. I thought this was my chance after 15 years. This was it. Finally, a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Kilometers lost his Edgeworth. I have no regrets. But well, wait a moment. Revenge? Against Kilometers lost his Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Lost his Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert. God damn it. So Loss's Edgeworth gets off the hook. <sighs> Von Karma, where is Mr. Yugi? Under arrest, Your Honor! I saw no room for error in his confession. Then the defendant, Kilometers Loss's Edgeworth, is... Innocent, in this case at least. Aha! You lose. Hmm. Very well. Will the defendant please take the stand? Wait, what do you mean? Why does he need to take the stand? Are we declaring his verdict? Yes. Yes. So He's I'm, innocent. I'm, I'm not going to get the... proved it. I, I'm not going to get the ultra guilty verdict that I was hoping for. No. Yan, Yami Yugi did it. He just confessed to it. But 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 I wanted but but but, but, but I wanted but, kilometers to be guilty. Oh, and I wanted to press buttons and stuff, and I didn't get to that. So yeah, well, That's guess why. who was and guess I who was to win a mafia game. None guess of who game. was <laughs> right? No, I still got what I wanted. Anyway, there are a few mysteries left unsolved. Still, you are cleared of suspicion for this particular case. Okay, good. Dawning, tell the hat man I won. Nope. Have, have, have him release the Yoko. He hasn't said not guilty yet to finish the whole case. He says, you, you are cleared of suspicion for this particular case. We're done. I win. Have, have him release the Yoko. He says not until you leave court with an innocent verdict. Oh, God, Caps. Um... Wait, Caps, do you not know? <laughs> so, obviously, I have no love. I, I have no love for one kilometer's lost his edge worth. So the whole reason that I'm even defending him in the first place is because this mysterious hat fellow 
stop in and kidnap Yoko Littner. Also, Caps, I know you know who this hat man is. You should be familiar with him. What is he Do not from? say anything about this hat man's identity. Dawning What's doesn't want me to know because I'm sure she's responsible for this. I'm just I'm just curious, what is Hatman from? He's from case four two of uh, Ace Attorney. So I would like to pass judgment on the murder of Mr. Uh, Robert Hammond. The reason I am refusing in, in to have this stated is is because it would be a spoiler. And yes, Queen of Space, it probably is who you think it is. Are there any objections? What do you want to bet Von Karma is going to object? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. I don't believe it. Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Kilometer's loss is Edgeworth. Damn it! Okay, fine, but now Hatman has to let him go. Or, Hatman has to let Yoko go. Not until you have left court. Fine, that is all. This court is adjourned. Objection! Who the hell just said... <laughs> it wasn't Von Karma. That wasn't the Von Karma voice. It wasn't. Did, did someone just say objection? It wasn't Von Karma. Wait, but that means... Oh god, it was the objection. Lost is Edgeworth. Okay, no, you know what? You know what? If he's going to object to his own not guilty verdict, the hat man can't blame me. This has gone yeah, too far. Yeah, I think he can. No. I got him the not guilty verdict. I literally had the guilty verdict overturned. And now it was literally about to get thrown out. Even Von Karma was about to be included. It, it was about to admit his own defeat. And this idiot objected to his own innocent verdict. Yeah, and and the hat man's not letting Yoko go until you have left this courtroom with an innocent verdict. Fine, can I duct tape his mouth shut and drag him out the door? The hat man knew this would happen. Luna, you are making bold claims. Your Honor, I object to your judgment. What do you mean? What kind of idiot are- See, he really is stupid. What do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. As we have heard, Yemi Yugi killed Robert Hammond in revenge. But revenge for what? Nick, Edward is, is trying to confess. He's, he's going to say he's guilty. Let him. He, he's going to tell them he was the murderer and then steal six senses. He's, he's going to tell them he killed his own dad. Uh-oh, what do I do? I'll just leave it to Edgeworth. That sounds like a smart idea. Might I recommend hitting your client in the back of the head with a crowbar? This sounds like a good idea for more than one. No. I feel like leaving it to Edgeworth. Oh. What? I, it don't matter which you choose, I'm pretty sure. Well, it, I... It does not. Raising an objection is probably going to give me more dialogue, right? Mm, no idea. Yeah, a little bit. Fine. Objection! objection! The judgment has already been passed. I objected. Lost his Edgeworth's out first. Objection! Didn't something like this happen yesterday, too? I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. That would be Larry. We must hear this new statement. We must hear Kalamat has lost his Edgeworth. He's right. We have a duty to hear Mr. Lost his Edgeworth out. For 15 years, I have had a recurring dream. A nightmare. 
It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now I know it wasn't a dream. Yami Yugi wasn't the killer, at least in DL6. He did kill Robert Hammond. You mean in the incident where your father died? From the distance of the shot... Wasn't a killer until 15 years later. Yes. From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer, the criminal in the DL6 incident, it was me. Aha! Go to jail. Your Honor, I confess my guilt. I am guilty for DL6, the statute of limitations of which ends today. The culprit is me. I'm going to put this as my, uh, as my thumbnail for this. I forgot he did his objection pose on the stand. <laughs> yes, Luna? Yes, no, of course I did it. This is certainly unexpected. The defendant declared innocent is confessing to a different crime. A crime for which the statute of limitations runs out today. I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. Bah! It is obvious! We hold the trial right here, right now. We try this man for his crime of 15 years ago. Okay, but technically, you now have a loss on your record, Von Karma. Yeah, so he's still going to be a petty bitch. <laughs> Probably. I, I think it would li I would like to take a five-minute recess. During this time, I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. Court is adjourned. Damn you, Edward. See, it's not bad enough that I'm trying to sabotage my own defense. Even he's trying to sabotage my defense. Why do I defend this guy? Because he actually because has Batman a sense of guilt like you. That too. But he also actually has a sense of guilt unlike you. Why would I have a sense of guilt? I haven't done anything wrong. You're trying to let an innocent man go to prison. He confessed to murder. Yeah, he was you a were kid. trying to let him go to prison for a crime he, he definitively did not commit. Well, that nobody too. knew that until today. And how do you know that he killed his father? Just because he says so? He said so! He confessed! I can say killed he by says his nightmare er, 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 leads him to believe as such. Yeah. I this... can say I killed Abraham Lincoln, but that wouldn't be true. Arrest me, Dory. Yeah, because I killed Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Arrest Donning, too. They're both trying to get in my way of the guilty verdict on Lost as Edgeworth. Well, you gotta prove that he did it. Why is that my job? I'm the defense attorney. Well, Von Karma demands a trial, and you can't have a trial without a defense attorney. I only agreed to defend him for the for the murder of Robert Hammond. I didn't agree to defend him for this. Hey, hey, Hatman said you had to defend him. Hatman never specified. He just said you had to defend Edgeworth. Can I, I blow... kill Dave? <laughs> Wait, can, can, can I? Can I blow up Hatman with my bomb? No. No. Hatman's immune to you the bomb. Lost possession of your bomb with the end of the mafia game. Damn. It's probably dud, anyways. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. <sighs> Dang, why don't you blow everyone up? That would have been so much more fun. Look at the hidden modifier. Knowing my luck, I probably wouldn't have blown anybody up. Anyway, no, that's all beside look. the point. I knew you changed I, the percentage on that modifier multiple times. By the way, I knew there was a hidden modifier to that. I called it right from the start. I said, there's no way in hell this roll is nearly as good as you're telling me it is. I had uh, Quaz lower the odds of hazmat suit on the off chance you activated it, so I could maybe possibly win. I figured you would. Anyway. All this is besides the point. Uh, I'm sorry, right? I've just wasted all your effort. Gumshoe looks sad. I don't blame you, man. Mr. Lost his edge with. I just don't believe it, sir. I mean, you. Kill your dad. 
I didn't want to believe it myself, detective. But it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstance. See? See? Even he agrees. Again, he's making an assumption. We don't know. No, he's saying murder is murder no matter what the circumstances. Doesn't matter if he was nine. Doesn't matter if he was oxygen deprived. He deserves to go to jail. He's Mr. saying Reddick, it. Speaking of Ellie's score, I gotta send him something. <laughs> I don't want to know what you're going to send him. Not whatever you're thinking. <laughs> Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. This is this is crazy, just crazy. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? Oh, I was just reading through the court record once more. I'm getting my case right. Oh, good court record. Lovely. That's probably a hint that sure. I should do that. Hey, for what? No, no, I'm reading. <laughs> ah. Uh huh. Oh yes, the overhead map of Gord Lake. That's going to come in very handy, isn't it? The pistol bullet. Hey, I noticed you still have that joke metal detector in your court record. Why? I don't know. Makes a noise when metallic objects are near. A useful... That doesn't make... Hey, I've still got Polly in my in my court record. Yeah, but... Mm-hmm. Mm. Gracious... Gracious enough to agree that Edgy Poo is the bottom, so Emmy would be the top. What? I'm so confused. Trapped in an elevator, returning from a lost trial. One bullet <laughs> found in heart. What's going on in the chat? Murder weapon was fired twice. I feel like I should be insulted by something. <laughs> I think Miles Edgeworth is your new Melly. Absolutely not. Hey, Cass is the one that said he's that Edgeworth is a bottom. <laughs> yeah, he's an ass. <laughs> Someone has to be the top. I gave you the right to be the top. Von Karma's daughter can have him. Ew, no, they're like siblings. No! Incest. Not literally. No. Anyway. It basically is with those two. Uh huh. Oh, she's 18. Or, she's the same age as Maya. 17? Yeah, she's 18 in game two. 18, well, I, I said know. his name before. Anyway. Uh, da da da. Da da da. Taken from Lost's Edward's heart still bears clear ballistic markings. Interesting. But I don't know what those ballistic markings are. There is that bullet hole in the elevator door that doesn't make sense. Wait a minute. No, if if we're saying that Lawson's Edgeworth killed his dad by throwing the frickin' gun, more likely than not, that actually caused the bullet hole in the damn elevator door than in his father. His father was probably already dead to begin with. Hmm. No. Yes, Francisca did become a prosecutor at 13. I love yeah. how after Francisca, they still occasionally try to use, hey, this person was really young when they became a prosecutor, when, like, Francisca, 13. That's Five ridiculous. Your 17-year-old prosecuting is no longer impressive. All well, of this stuff sounds boring, and, like, these kids Fran are too short to do anything. Franziska could have become an attorney in Germany. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where she grew up. At least that's what I would think. Anyway, I'm Fran getting my case ready. Fran is also German. Who? I'm getting my Fran case is ready. Also German. Hmm. Oh. Uh, I guess there is no case. I, 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 guess, I guess he's guilty. Good night.
You just said the line. What? He said the Your line. Taste for what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? Why am I doing this? Phoenix, Did you forget you... why Phoenix became a lawyer? Because he's well, an has idiot. Really not been... Has it not been established why he became a lawyer yet? No, I was at the class trial. I saw the class trial. Okay. So we we still we we considering that Phoenix became a lawyer. For the sole and specific purpose of saving Ingatchworth. No, he did not. Why wouldn't he do this? <laughs> I still haven't figured out who the hell still lost his Edgeworth's lunch money. I want to give him a high five. Um, don't worry, find I'm out sure we'll get like... that opportunity. Anyway, fine. Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Kilometers lost his Edgeworth is innocent. Gumshoe. What, what are you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it. He confessed that he did it. In court. I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Lost Zedgeworth. But I don't believe your nightmare. Uh, what? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. Good, let's cross-examine the parrot again. Unfortunately, the parrot wasn't really a witness to DL6. Yes, it was. You don't know that. Parrots live a long time. Right, but do you actually think this parrot was in that elevator? They put canaries in coal mines? Maybe there was a parrot in the elevator. But that doesn't have the same alliteration as canary in a coal mine. Uh... True. Meh, doesn't matter. I'll prove you're innocent, trust me. R right Why? Why am I agreeing to go up against Von Karma again? Someone to, has uh, to do it to prove Edward's guilt. Oh. It's not my job. I'm the defense attorney. Let Von Karma prove the guilt. Someone has Don't... to be a defense attorney, and today is the only day for this trial, so they grabbed the closest one present. I knew. I, I need to chuck this defense attorney badge in the frickin' lake already. It just keeps getting me into trouble. Now then, I would like to resume our trial. Judge! Kilometers has lost his Edgeworth, has admitted his own guilt, he has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his, his testimony. Then, though pointless, let the defense do their cross-examining. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it is unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. It is unconventional for him. I see, does the defense have any objections? No, Your Honor, let's just delay this until tomorrow, shall we? Von Karma, you knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? If we you? delay this until tomorrow, then statute of limitations runs out and Edgeworth cannot be convicted. Yes, which means he's technically never proven innocent, but I don't have to deal with defending him. That's because so it sounds like you're afraid of Von Karma. I'm not afraid of Von Karma, I just... It, voicing him is difficult on my throat. Although, to be fair, Caps and Ellison before him know that the other way to get to me is my competitive nature, so okay, fine. I won't do this for losses, Edgeworth. I'll do this to, to, to hand Von Karma his second loss. Exactly. You'll hand him two losses in one day. A new record. Will Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth take the stand? But again, put it back when you're done. Will the witness state his name and profession? Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth, I am a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Lost as Edgeworth, 15 years ago, you mistakenly killed your father. Gregory Lost as Edgeworth. Is this correct? Dot, dot, dot. 
It is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. When Losses Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. That will be the key, but only if I can get it to work. Uh, Dawning? Ah, oh, that's my line next. Sorry. Uh. Please. Please. Please find him guilty. Yes, I agree. Alright, what do we got? The DL6 incident. That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe... What? This is a was AA far later. This case would be over right now. It's possible, but you anyway. Know, I feel like I should know what you're <sighs> talking about because I've played AA four and AA five and most of AA six, but I don't. <laughs> anyway, Lissy, my normal end time is about forty five minutes from now. I'm ending whenever the heck this trial is over, because I'm done. After this, I am no longer a defense attorney. You're almost done with the trial if you stop messing around. Oh, good. Maybe I get to go home early today. That day, I had gone to observe the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. Yes, the pasta shop, the wet noodle. That Yami uh, Yugi fellow may have been lying about it, but it gave me a brilliant idea, and I would love to open up a pasta shop called the wet noodle. What about Apollo Caps? That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. My oh, you mean the perceived thing. What? Nothing. Carry on, Apollo. What? Don't worry about it. I feel like I'm missing something again. I feel like no, you're all making fun of me it. again. Stop we're making not. fun of me. No. No, you said we're talking about a different game. Carry on. I am very suspicious. I, I literally, they're talking about a different Ace Attorney game. Carry on. Fine. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then... I thought his name was Mr. Yogi. Oh yeah, Mr. Yugi. My father and Mr. Yugi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. Where the hell did that even come from? Um, I it was either it evidence or it was... Oh, police. right. Yeah, yeah. Because the bailiff it, it tends never to is, have a gun. It, yeah, never, it's never actually clarified. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yugi. I wanted them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Hmm. And until now, you thought this memory was a dream. We were stuck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in that elevator ran out, and I lost my memory of the events. Bah! That is the same claim Mr. Yogi, ha Mr. Yogi had made! Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Nope, no need to cross-examine. The testimony is as clear as day. He did it. That man. He that guilty. That man has knife. He's guilty. And really? the hat man has a knife. You're going to cross-examine anyway. D fine, but I'm going to flub it on purpose. Uh-huh. And then what? Yoko gets it's her throat cut? <laughs> Just, again, the less you screw around, the quicker you'll be done with it. And the quicker Yoko will go free. Wait, wait, Caps is hat man? Yes, Caps, hat. Caps is, cl Caps is proclaiming himself to be hat man. 
Uh, let's see, you're only starting to like it. You're to get better as the games go on. Ugh. Fine. The DL6 incident. You claim how, man. That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. I'm gonna press him on everything. Well, hold on. <laughs> Uh, is this one of the ones where you lose points if you press? Not entirely sure. I, I could have sworn there was something at some point during this trial. Larry. If you press at the wrong time during Larry's testimony, it would blow up in your face. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're oh. probably fine here then. Okay. I mean, I just feel like that pressing him anyway. He has a pretty clear idea of what evidence needs to be. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it happens in this game, because I played the trial earlier, and I didn't have to... I, I kind of had to press on a lot of stuff. Anyway. I think it's later in the series, like Cap says. I don't think we have to worry about it yet in this game. What was the trial I your father was involved in on that day? I John Karma being that. I don't remember things very clearly. Only two things. I know my father lost, and Mr. Von Karma was the prosecuting attorney. Interesting. Mr. Von Karma, you were handling that case? It was 15 years ago. I don't remember the details. That was when Losses Edgeworth pro uh, pointed out the problem in Von Karma's evidence. Obviously, he was so traumatized. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. So there were three people, including yourself, trapped in that elevator. Yes, myself, my father, and Yami Yugi. We were fine at first, but then as time passed and no one came to help, my father and Mr. Yugi lost their composure and began to argue. What did you do then? I was a nine-year-old boy at the time. What could I do? I just decided to murder. No, I was scared, trembling in the corner. But then... Something heavy fell at my feet. Yes, a very, very big coincidence. What was it? A pistol. I assume it was the bailiff, Yami Yugi's. The safety must have come off when it fell from his holster. And you picked it up! What happened next? I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yugi. I wanted them to stop fighting. Did you know it was a pistol when you threw it? I think I knew. I knew it was dangerous, but the air was getting so thick, I panicked. So you're saying you threw the pistol at Mr. Yugi? I was in a daze. A single gunshot, then a scream, eh? Well, I'd like to see about that. One gunshot. That sounds like what Larry said. And Larry was definitely right when he made that claim. Let's see. Case summary. Location, elevator, district courthouse, air and elevator, blah, blah, blah. No clues found at the scene. Gregory lost his Edgeworth, age 35. Defense attorney trapped in an elevator returning from a lost trial with his son. One bullet found in the heart. The murder weapon was fired. How many times? None. Twice. Nope, Dawning was right. The murder weapon was fired nuns. <laughs> it was actually never fired. But yeah, then how okay. the fuck did he die? <laughs> Someone we, took the bullet and just stabbed and shoved him with it, it. No, yeah, yeah. They took the bullet and literally <laughs> shoved it in his heart. It was, it was obviously actually Yami Yugi. Yami Yugi just took the bullet and he just really, really shoved it in. He just don't want to admit it. Are you sure you only heard one gunshot? It, yes, I'm sure of that. I heard the sh yeah. What Cap said, natural causes. That bullet headed up in his heart due to natural causes. 
I heard a sh the shot and the scream, then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. No, Your Honor. Unfortunately, you don't. Look at this file one more time. This plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. OBJECTION! You do enjoy dragging out that file, don't you? I don't accept this evidence unless you can tell us what page it's on. What page contradicts Mr. Kalamata's lost Edgeworth's testimony? The victim data, my friend. Look at the victim data in this file. It says quite plainly, the murder weapon was fired nonce. Meaning that there was no murder weapon. <laughs> no, it, it, it says quite plainly, the murder weapon was fired twice. Kilometers lost his own, uh, lost his Edgeworth, only heard one gunshot. Yet the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So, who fired the remaining shot? I don't know about these kinds of shots, just the one that I can get in little glasses. Hmm. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? OBJECTION! Your Honor, as I'm sure you are aware, the incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second shot was fired. It might have been fired the day before the incident. There is no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. What? Hmm, I see, I see. Mm. You do have a are point. You are you so sure upon karma? I think he's pretty sure. Mr. Wright, the murder weapon was fired twice, have we, as we have heard. One of those shots was fired by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot fired had something to do with the case? Uh, no. I absolutely do not. Right? That man. Yoko. Nine. But what proof do I possibly have? Perhaps you should take a look at your court record. Yeah, of course I know the bullet in the window. Your Honor, I think I will be able to show you proof. What? what Impossible! Now, now, Mr. Von Karma, save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. True. Given how incompetent I am, sometimes I say I've got evidence, and I don't actually have any. Do you have evidence that the second firing of the pistol, pistol is related to this incident? The overhead map of Gord Lake. Now, it's got to be the picture. Because, behold, there is in fact a gunshot in the elevator door, and the guy is dead. So That's yeah, take I wonder where the other one ended up. I have no idea. Maybe it ended up in, uh... I, I don't know. Maybe it's the one that got shoved into, uh... Gregory Lost Jedgeworth's heart. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes it, it Lost his Edgeworth cry. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. I can see that the victim lying there is Gregory Loss's Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. Dot, dot, dot! Dot, dot, dot. So let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired where? Your Honor, please. Please get a clue. I'm gonna pick Lost Zedworth's uh, Gregory Lost Zedworth's nose. <laughs> Presenting Gregory Lost his Edgeworth does indeed have unique dialogue. Is it gonna give me a penalty? I can't tell. Probably. It will. It'll still be funny. Nope. Hatman Yoko <laughs> knife, as I have been repeatedly told. <laughs> Dissing. As should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor. Gregory Loss's Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. 
Yet there is also a bullet hole in the elevator door. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus, someone other than Losses Edgeworth fired that second shot. Uh, order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gregory Losses Edgeworth's heart, the other hit the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Mr. Wright, but who could that someone else be? The murderer, of course. OBJECTION! Dot dot dot, I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand! Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 incident case file. Look closely! Try the case summary page. The case summary, that's on page one, okay. What about it? Yes, Aaron, uh, da, 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 location elevator, district courthouse, Aaron elevator was oxygen depleted at time of incident, no clues found on the scene. Okay. Look what he's written there! Not a single clue was found on the scene! Oh dear. If the pistol had indeed been fired two times, then the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. He does have a point. Mm. That second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet that mm. claimed... He may be right. He may be right. It might be so a magic bullet. why is bullet. there a bullet hole in the door? Uh, because someone took another bullet from the gun and shoved it through the door before <laughs> taking that same bullet and shoving it through <laughs> Lost as Edward. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making shit up as I go. That's how I do. <laughs> that is kind of how this ends up getting resolved. I noticed. The bullet that claimed Gregory lost his edgeless life was the one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth. It was undoubtedly something else that made the bullet hole in the door. Yes, it was a gun. Like, literally shoving the gun. No, it, 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 it couldn't possibly have been a bullet that made a bullet hole in the door. Order! I will have order! Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly. That the murder weapon was fired twice at the time. Well, I don't have to because that's what the folder said, but yes. However, as Mr. Von... Yeah, shoved the second... Shoved the pistol through the glass, yes. As Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked this second bullet. So all we have is the single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. Oh well, I tried. Disc, disc, disc! I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. How did this happen? I don't believe that the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Have I been... Yes, you have been wrong about this whole incident. He's guilty of sin. What are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you raising an objection? Dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry, Maya. What? I... It looks like we were wrong. It looks like I was wrong. No, I was right, Phoenix. You were wrong. That's why you're Phoenix wrong. Nick? If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my conjectures are for nothing. No, but... You said you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd get lost as Edgeworth declared innocent. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry. It's just, when I saw the photograph, I thought the two shots had been fired. I was so certain of it, I thought I'd won. I thought there was another person, someone else, who fired the killing shot. But now, I was wrong to think it could be that simple. This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Yeah. Well, it seems we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. That shot was fired by Kilometer's loss as Edgeworth. PRECISELY! 
I would like to ask one thing of Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? It, yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? It, no, no I do not. So you killed your father, though that was not your intention. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, yes I did. I am guilty, and I deserve to go to jail. Oh dear, Maya's oh, gonna no. have another explosion. He's confessing. See, he accepts his own guilt. Very well. The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Losses Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defense uh, on the defendant today, right here, right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There are so many things I sh I know I should be saying, but my mind's gone blank. I can't find the words, Mr. Wright. Hmm, what if I say no objections? Then you'll get a, a plate of extra dialogue before Phoenix objects. No objections. Every lead I thought I had has been squashed. This is really the end. Lost is Edgeworth, I'm sorry, but you are guilty. Good, case closed. Let's all have a beer. Why are you two not having beer? Uh, not Maya's not old enough to drink. And you're not done anyways. But it's guilty! I don't see guilty right. on the screen. Fine, Edgeworth, I'm sorry. I closed my eyes. What was it that I'd been doing all this time? It wasn't my whole life leading up to today. But now that I'm here, I know I failed. Ha ha! Mia, I'm sorry. What the? No? Not yet. Oh, good lord. Uh, huh? Maya? What? Object. Your only weapon. Are you okay, Nick? What's happening to me? I have to think. Wait, don't think, act. OBJECTION! Your Honor. Your Honor, I- I object. Disk, disk, disk! Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object, hmm? Oof. I, I don't know. His case is perfect. Oh no. Gra. It must exist. The second bullet. What? What? What did you just say? Nothing. The second bullet must exist. But wait, right in your damn pocket. Someone took it. It seems waiting is not going to produce us any answers from Mr. Wright. Wait, Your Honor. Hmm? I, uh... The, the second bullet. It, uh, it exists. What? But we just heard proof that it did not exist. I, I realize that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. It, it's just someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But, but who? The, 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 the murderer. OBJECTION! The murderer! Then tell us just who is this murderer! Uh, I'm still thinking about that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet, but why? Huh? First of all, how would they have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet? 
Uh, the murderer had to... He had to search. Well, I was going to say, the murderer had to find it. Well, no, the murderer may not have needed it. No, the murderer had to find it. Of course there was a need. That's why they took it. Bah! What possible reason could they have had? Well, the reason the murderer took the bullet away from the scene with them is... The bullet would be proof, or the murderer would be cautious. I mean, the bullet would be proof. It's got ballistic markings on it. Or maybe they thought that the bullet would be used as proof? Oh, I'm guessing this was the wrong answer. Proof? It was a special bullet, so they took it. No. Objection! If that was the case, they should have taken the bullet from inside Gregory as well. Huh? Why would they only take one of the two shots fired? Oh, right. Mr. Wright, have you really thought this through? I'm going to have to penalize you. Um, it's the this second is option on the because first that was, there, were, there was no right answer between those two. Oh. Yeah, it's the second option on the first one. It's annoying, I got penalized, like, I went through the whole first it? one twice. Yeah. Why would the murderer have spent the time to look for that stray bullet? haven't got a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh, um... Bah! The murderer had no reason to take that bullet! You don't want to admit it, but it's true! Irk. Had to take it. Had to take it? The murderer, what does that mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Oh, good! Think crazy! Uh, go blah blah blah! Go blah blah blah! <laughs> I don't want to think that crazy. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Mr. Wright? N yes, Your Honor. I had no idea what I'm doing. Uh, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But, uh, the murderer had to take that bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Well, for instance... For instance, what? Uh, maybe the bullet, uh, hit the murderer. The bullet... hit the murderer? J just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it... Uh, you would have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there. Yeah, no, half of Phoenix's wins are just random BS. And see if anything sticks. This is the hypothetical spaghetti that we always throw at Lost as Edgeworth. Y you know... By the time of later games, he's explicitly known for bluffing. Wait a second, I was just talking off the top of my head, but what if that's really what happened? Let me get this straight. So at the time of the murder, the murderer themselves was shot, and they left with the second bullet still inside of them, thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime. Uh, yes, I guess that's how it would work, yes. But there's a problem with that. The other two people rescued from that elevator, Kilometers Lost as Edgeworth and Yami Yugi, were both unharmed. So that would mean the murderer came from outside, yes. The two men fight inside the elevator. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharges and the bullet... The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. The boy loses consciousness. Oh, this explains how Mr. Von Karma knew that Lost's Edgeworth had shot the gun. Then the murderer opens the elevator door and sees the men inside. I want you to explain how it explains anything. Hmm, how what explains anything? This explains how Von Karma knew that Edgeworth shot the gun. That's what you said, right? Yes. I'm still alive, yes. What it does it... How does it explain that? It would be difficult to know... Or to, not to know that someone fired a gun if you were... If you were shot by said gun. What are you implying? Ugh. <sighs> Von Karma did it. Hmm. 
Hmm, Mr. Wright, you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. I can tell you're grasping, yet I can't den I cannot deny the possibility of what you said. OBJECTION! What are you saying? DENY IT! DENY IT! No one involved with the incident was wounded! There was no murderer! Hmm... No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right, I can't think of anyone. Hey, Nick? Huh? I just th uh, thought of something really cr crazy. Crazy? Remember what Mr. Grossberg said yesterday? Gregory Edge lost his edge with dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many, many years of prosecuting. He took a vacation because he had to go what have surgery. Von... What if Von Karma didn't take that vacation because of shock? But he took it because he was injured. Which would mean... It could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He was the man who shot Gregory lost his Edgeworth. It was Von Karma. Oh man. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed. Uh, n no, Your Honor. Well? You have indicated the possibility that the murderer came from outside. Can you give us the name of your suspect? Uh-oh. Should I come out and say it now? I'm gonna say it now, and I'm gonna say it loud and proud. Hello, Ellison, and yes, who could have in fact predicted this? Your Honor, there is a suspect. Yeah. One lone suspect. Dot, dot, dot! Well, this is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? V v v Irk. M my hands are shaking. V who? Von Karma. V Von Karma? Dot, dot, dot! Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot! You mean THE Von Karma? The prosecutor? The one standing right over there? Bah! You... you don't object? Humph! I see no need! Why honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection? Because you took a vacation for several months starting the day after the incident. Yet you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident? Fascinating. Prove it. I would have needed surgery, no? Where did I go under the knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated on me. Have him testify. Irk. Nick? Wait a minute. I have a I metal detector. I, no, I have a metal detector. It's no use. Uh, lost his Edgeworth? I know Von Karma. Perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as a witness. Grr, nobody's that perfect. Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? See, and you all were saying, well, no, no, no. you all were saying that you couldn't just shove a bullet in someone's heart. Who said that? What are you talking about? No, he couldn't. Have. I don't know who came up with the idea. You can't just pull bullets out of yourself. Wait. Yes, you can. What does that mean? Yes, it does. Well, well, well. Disc, disc, disc. Well, Mr. Wright, can you produce evidence to prove that I was shot? Are you kidding me? I've got a frickin' metal detector, you jackass. And I'll even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. What? What? The, ev the evidence that proves that Von Karma shot is this handy dandy metal detector. 
Von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk a surgery. He wouldn't risk surgery, leaving an evidence trail. So then I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it unlikely that Von Karma performed surgery on himself. You, you don't mean. I do. There is the possibility that the bullet is still inside Von Karma. Is that even possible for all these years? Well, there's one way to find out. What are you... What? What is that math equation? Anyway, we could use this metal detector. Well, Von Karma, I'm going to run this over you and see what we find. Objection! Dot, dot, dot! I refuse! Y you refuse? But, but refusing this means... You acknowledge the bullet is still inside you? Order! Order, order! Your Honor, the defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. OBJECTION! Judge, I call for a suspension of, the tri of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. The statute of limitations runs out on this case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. Mm -hmm. Enough. I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Well, well. What a turn of events. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we have to give it a shot. We always have to give it a shot. If we didn't give it a shot, we'd be absolutely nowhere, and this guy would have been found guilty ages ago. Why All are right. we giving shots to the metal detector? I because don't it, trust because it's a bullet. A drunk metal detector. Well, 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 something is beeping. I wonder what that could mean. It's probably just my phone. I should uh Take this very, very, very important call. I'll be back in about ten hours. Meanwhile, I'm sure the trial can continue without me, right? Right? No. There's, there's, no. there's no, no. What, what do you mean, no? Well, okay, if the trial can't continue, that means that we technically don't get a verdict, and losses Edward still technically considered uh, guilty. Which means hat man. We'll do what? Nothing. It's not my fault. I have to take this very important phone call. Uh-huh. And you think that will stop Hat Man? What if the phone call is from the Hat Man? It's not. Oh, the Hat Man is growing impatient. Yes, no, the President is... Look. Is the Hat Man more important than the President? The answer, he's got Yoko, so yes. It reacted. Something's inside his right shoulder. The bullet. Dot, dot, dot. Mr. Von Karma? Dot, dot, dot. You. It was you. Dot, dot, dot. I was afraid this would happen. And so I remained silent. Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. Nothing, you stupid fawful muncher. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. I knew he was going to do that. But, but Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove? I have no obje uh, no obligation to prove anything. It is Mr. Wright who must prove something here, not I. M Mr. Wright? Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6? Of course he can't! You don't have any of the DL6 evidence! 
That's because you took it out of the records room yesterday. With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No, I'm not the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? what No, you are the one who's sorry. You were close, one day away from freedom. But you see, I do have proof. What? what? Exactly confident for a man who's just making shit up. I know. Who would have thought you would try? You would dig your own grave trying to convict Losses Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. The proof is in the pudding, or more accurately, the proof is in his shoulder. And here is my final proof. In point of fact, it is this bullet that still has clear ballistic markings. Th that's... a bullet? Wh where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. Lissy, you can order pudding from the court. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory lost his edge work. The bullet is preserved quite nicely with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings? You may recall the term. It came up in the first uh, it, it came up in the first trial two days ago. Pick off his gun. Yep. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Losses Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. We could analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings matched, we would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol, in other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Lost his Edgeworth. Mumph! Mumph! Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove that bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare those the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. Yeah, we're just going to pull a bullet from his shoulder right here, right now. And let us so and we'll solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma, Merg. This is now a doctor. Yes. You stupid fucking fawful muncher! How dare you? <laughs> that that scream. I've heard that scream before. Wait, I know. Help, I can't breathe! Quiet! I said quiet, you're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my- stop breathing my air! I'll- I'll stop you! Stop breathing my air! Get away! Get away from my father! Bang! Wag. Yeah, we might just use a big old magnet. It's that scream I heard in the elevator. Fifteen years ago, Von Karma, it was you who screamed. Mr. Von Karma. Rogue Edgeworth! Lost his Edgeworth! Only you would dare defy me! So, so it was you. You and your father are my curse! Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record. And you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. I'll, I'll bury you, I'll bury you with my bare hands. Death, death! <coughs> Ow. Fifteen years earlier. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von... Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Lost as Edgeworth would, have be, would be the one to catch you. I... I was careless. I'm... I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. 
I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Dot 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 exclamation mark! He lost his Edgeworth! It was a shock like none I had ever known. It was a shock like none I had ever known! Me! Penalized! It took hours for me to regain my composure! Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness! I was in the court records room! I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going! The room was pitch black, the lights must have gone out! I went out into the hall and felt my way to the elevator! I pressed the button, but nothing happened! Nothing, I tell you! Then, there was a noise! I was in pain, a horrible, burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on, the elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then, it was destiny. In his last moments, Gregory lost his Edgeworth, was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. Mr. Yogi, he was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Disc, disc, disc. Who would have thought another man would have come into the op would have come to open the ele that elevator door? Judge! Wh what What are you doing? Do your job. Bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it! L very well. He's such a good loser. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later. Mr. Kilometer's loss is Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. Dot, dot, dot. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Kilometer's loss is Edgeworth. God damn it. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. And that's my last case. At least you can't say that Von Karma was a sore loser. He was actually pretty chill at the end there. I mean, I wouldn't say he was chill. He was literally banging his head against the, yeah. the, the wall. But after, after he got over that, he was like, Judge, do your job. And he was calm about it. He accepted it. All right. December 28th, 5.38 p.m. Nick! Nick, we did it! Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be e e all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick! Crushed! I gotta say, I'm impressed. Heh, <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I was sure we'd had it. I know! I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. Oh, is there a lot of parts? Dot, dot, dot. So it's finally I over, so. Lost yeah, Edgeworth. This is leading into the epilogue. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, right. Yeah? Dot, dot, dot. I... I'm not sure how to say this. I know. I know. Try thank you. I... I see. Dot, dot, dot. Th thank you, Wright. Y you're welcome. You could have done better than that. N n sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. A lot to learn, Lost is Edgeworth. She's got you there. Woo! <laughs> Amazing, pal! You pulled through just like I taught you would! I'll never forget this. I owe you one, pal. And tonight, let's party! Dinner's on me! 
Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? Hey, Mr. Watson Edgeworth, you can take a lesson from Detective Gumshoe. That's how you say thank you. Hmm, uh, I see. Ahem. Whoop! Dot dot dot. Uh, I feel foolish. Don't worry. Take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years. A lot of coming up, Mingo. Yeah, I, know. I have it up. It's been 15 years since I've seen Losses Edward this unguarded. Whoa! What's she doing? Hey, y'all! Uh, Y'all are great in there. Thank you. Yo, Edgeworth, congrats! Er, uh, thank y'all very much. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar, even if no one was there. Y you were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Guns be gone, you bygones, eh? Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lana? Oh, me? Ah, I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Question mark? Isn't that the hot dog guy from oh, the Oh, God, Larry's here. <laughs> huh? It's over, Lady. It's over, Nick. My life is over. Why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? I thought you'd be happy that Lost as Edgeworth was declared not guilty. Oh, Nick. I'm not long for this world. Uh, you don't look sick. Oh, of course. It's Keonce. She She's going to live in Paris, Nick. Uh, Paris. Paris, Nick! She's leaving me behind! Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Yo, lost is edgy, there you are! Um, yes, here I am. Congrats, lost is edgy! Here's a little gift from me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Airy butts! You come along tonight, too! My treat, pal! Huh? Uh, thanks. Looking forward to it. Y yo, yo, Nick. That's the suit that... That's the suit that questioned me. When he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? Uh, I think you'll be fine, Larry. Uh, right? Yeah? What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me, it's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not... That's not strange. That's not that strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. It's $38, right? Huh? What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not... Are you kidding me? Larry actually stole the money in the first place? Yes. He wasn't even there. <laughs> they explain it. Keep reading. It's not a little, but it's not a lot either. Dot, dot, dot. $38 exactly? Nick, was that exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Lost's Edgeworth in school? $38? No. No, Larry, it was you! But what, are, what are you so surprised about, right? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day, 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. How can you just take a day off from school? He skipped. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. But I, I was never good at history. <laughs> Lost as Edgeworth. You didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Leary protecting you like he did that day. 
Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the bus. I know, I know. Really, right? I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this sure is an unexpected turn of events, eh? Lost is Edgeworth. If we're being honest, Phoenix can't figure anything out without Mia anyway, so of he course really he can't. Can. <laughs> hmm? You should have told me. Oh no, no, Nick. It was 15 years ago. Don't you think the statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Lost is Edgeworth? I'd say so, yes. There you have it! Grr. Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, you always have been something of an insufferable emotionalist. What? Yeah, and you get worked up too easily, too. The death, the death on, sentence man. for both of you. Man, if only I if I only had known I'd have become a prosecutioner. The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Lost is Edgeworth. Want to switch, right? Sure, I'll go being a prosecutor. With Von Karma <laughs> gone, I can be number one. Hey, y'all. Line up, I'll take a photo. Hey, photo time, let's go. And after that, dinner's on me. Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Losses Edgeworth's newfound freedom, even though Losses Edgeworth himself was still in detention. Why? Uh, How? I guess it takes time to process paperwork. So you guys celebrated without him. You should, we you did. should be happy. I am absolutely thrilled. <laughs> uh, I find that hilarious. Which is funny, if, if he had waited to celebrate until Edgeworth was there, Let's face it, Edgeworth probably would have paid for it. I wouldn't doubt it. But, no, he was away, so he couldn't pay for it. Alright, December 29th, 5.02am, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Does this go... Wait, who's dying this time? No one. No, oh, well, I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Ah, I see. I really did pass another I bar mean, this why time. Did you get, why did you give... A, of Phoenix or migraine. It's not my fault. I am not teaming up with Lost as Edgeworth. Wait a minute, huh? It's still only five... Maybe I should go back. Does, does Phoenix sleep in his own office? Does he, like, not have a home? You know, I'd buy that. <laughs> Probably he's so broke from having to pay for film and build Maya out every he time he gets arrested be. for stealing. Mm hmm. And nobody What's fucking this? pays him. Yeah. Oh, good. Another letter. It's the letter Z. Or maybe it's the letter Q good this morning, time. Nick. You were really impressive of yesterday. Seeing you. It made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I... I wanted to help Mr. Lost his address, too. I... I wanted to help you, but... I couldn't. I was useless. So, I've decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium, for starters. I... couldn't say it to your face, so... I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Well, that's one goblin out of my life. You just got dumped. No, that's one goblin out of my life. Goody. <laughs> Maya just stumped Phoenix. G goodbye, what time is it? God, the first friends for the mountains have already left. To the station.
This is somewhere I've never been before. I guess I'm too late. Uh oh. Hey, Nick. Maya. A lot of dot dot dotting going on. So, you're leaving? Yeah, it's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits, and I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? You didn't even give me an option here. Well, wait! What? Dot dot dot. I never could have saved Losses Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On that last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes, only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. But you were the one who stopped Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I, I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. E evidence? Show Maya some evidence to cheer up. My attorney's badge! I mean, you helped me talk Are to Polly. Actually? No, I know exactly what I need to show her, and I'm not going to screw around with the poor little goblin's heart. The bullet. Uh, a bullet? Von Karma was convinced he had taken all of the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. Dot, 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 dot. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I'll be waiting. Dot, dot, dot. Of course you will. You can't, you can't run that office by yourself. You're hopeless. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, yes, he is. Bye. He really is. You have a line? This is it. Yep. He said it. Not it. represented in my script. <laughs> See you soon, Maya. Thanks, Nick. Well, we're done here. And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page. And say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins with the same old crazy cast of characters, except now, we're running a noodle shop! <laughs> what? 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 What is going on here? Uh, I think you're getting your butt mildly kicked. I mean, Phoenix is canonically implied to have won that trial because otherwise he wouldn't have a perfect win record going into game two, which he canonically does. Okay. But... He did, apparently, get insulted on the way there. Okay. Um, the little character scenes are gonna pop up. I'm Obviously. seeing that. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is the uh, epilogue credit.
What? Missy's a nice lady. Who's a Missy? What the heck His is going on His new girlfriend. Here? Oh. Who does not care about him. You look just like the past, too. Oh, hey, it's Winston. Someday, Larry. Someday you'll find the one. The sort of... Winston Payne, I sort of taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. Yeah, right. So apparently I disappear after this because, you know, it's it's canon, right? It's absolutely canon that I disappear. No. No, he does another case really not. about two months later. You no, take he... a while off, but yeah, then... You could go throw my defense attorney badge. But then badge. a sad, lonely goblin shows up in your office. <laughs> I don't have an office anymore, unless you mean like the boat rental shop. Don't you know your office is your house? You can live out of Mia's office. Uh -huh, the days of my youth like a, sp a scent of fresh lemon. Uh huh. Always with that one in the fresh lemon. But in so any I've case. Bag next. So I've noticed that the script is for like the DS versions. And I was noticing during this one that apparently the Switch has some different translations. A little bit, yeah. That's kind of what I was figuring yeah, was potentially the difference, because it happens, but... Not often, but it's it's definitely... Yeah, and, a, it's, and it's always close an enough. Occasionally yeah. There's difference in the remaster. So, some were, like, complete, like... Uh, it was, like, you said something, I'm like, that's not what it says. It was, like, almost completely different. I, I wonder why they changed it. Don't know. It's like, yeah, because uh, in the original, uh, Edgeworth calls Phoenix a goody two shoes at the end there, and I can't remember what he said. What he had, what you said in the switch. Insufferable version. emotionalist or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Larry Sounds like she, so. Maya uh, caught a cold standing under a waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> My dog just threw a toy at me. You have silly puppies. Usually it's my cat throwing toys at me. This time All right. York. So, this was fun, but now it's time for it to come to an end. With this one final case, my career as a defense attorney is now over. Not yet, poor, it's not. Yes, poor yet Cody. it's over. Can we just talk about poor Cody? He thought it was inside the Prince Princess suit. Oh, God. That's not poor good. Kid. It literally says, and I saw her, the one inside the Prince Princess suit. Ugh, what a dog. I was kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. <laughs> anyway. No, I'm done. Like, I, I am taking my defense attorney's badge. I am throwing it in Gord Lake. I'm moving into the boat rental shop with Polly. And I am creating and running the wet noodle for the rest of my life. We'll see. Don't worry, I don't kidnap. I don't have the energy to kidnap a redhead for this. Uh, I can't think of something even I can do. I don't need a kidnap, though. Oh, look, Mia's in the picture. Uh-oh. Hold it, what? No, no, no. Nope, this is not a thing. Look at that little goblin! Look at the blue pigeon in the background! <laughs> this is not a thing. Mm -hmm, we'll see. Like I said, I don't kid- I don't worry, I don't have to kidnap. I'll make you a lot like Larry. Nope, there are no more cases. I'm done. And so five rights from the Ashes Day White investigation. Yeah, no, totally. No more cases. No more. <laughs> so that definitely is going to wrap things up for me for today. Yeah. Uh, I hate that I had to defend that dummy, but someone had to do it. Mm -hmm. So, 
if you were watching this on my Twitch channel and you missed some of the stream, you can always go check out my YouTube channel where this will be uploaded to uh, after the stream. If you were watching this on my YouTube channel, you can come watch me live on Monday evenings and Wednesday evenings. Uh, I believe next Monday evening I'll do a special Tears of the Kingdom stream instead because I'm done with this and I don't exactly know what's going to replace it just yet. But Wednesday evening, 7.30 p.m. United States Central Time are going to be Tears of the Kingdom, uh, which is the next time you'll find me on this channel. In the interim, uh, you can also find me and Donning and the Caps fan on the Bulba Garden channel, which is here. I stream on Sunday evening starting at 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, sorry, 6.30 p.m. United States Central Time. And that is Pokemon Art Academy. I historically stream starting at 7 p.m. in the United States Central Time, but unfortunately, Daylight Savings exists, and but doesn't in Australia, so it will be 8 p.m. going forward. Yes, Dawning will be streaming at 8 p.m. Saturday nights. Someone really should just... Till daylight saving time. I disagree. We need to leave it in daylight savings time permanently. Someone should just, just collectively agree to never change the clocks again. I That's don't care fine. Which side of it. As, as long as it's daylight savings time, because I can't deal with Sabbath being at like four o'clock in the afternoon. We need R to stop changing the clock. Regardless, you can also find Caps Fan there. He's doing a Nuzlocke, and I believe he's doing Mystery Dungeon Mornings. You can also find Mr. Caps Fan. Uh, was this the command? I think it was this command, actually. Yeah, you can find Caps Fan on his channel, which I just linked over there. And he goes live, I believe, on Fridays on his channel. So definitely go visit him there. I did gain a few followers today. I believe I am one or two away from being able to hit affiliate status. So if you enjoyed this, please follow my Twitch channel. That would be greatly appreciated. One more quick thing that I would like to mention before leaving for today is that Bulba Garden will be participating in the Catch a Million stream for charity coming up April 7th through 14th to benefit the St. Baldrick's Foundation. And, you know, again, even if this isn't something that you can donate towards, definitely spreading word about this event and joining us on the Bulba Garden channel when we are streaming, because we do intend to have 24-7 coverage during that week. So joining us, whether it's myself, or Caps, or Dawning Winds, or Archaic, or Kasumi, or Russell, or Cody, or any of our wonderful stream team, right? Just keeping us company we while we're Abby. going. And, and we Abby. named everyone except Abby. Well, I don't think I named Russell either, but, you know, again, we're... You we're... did. You, you explicitly named Russell, but you forgot Abby. Fine. Or Abby, or whoever else is joining us for this event better? Yes. Uh, I can't let you just leave people out like that. I'll leave Dawning out. Anyway, uh, whoever's, like, you know, just keeping us company, keeping us going, there will be relatively amusing uh, little donation incentives there, if you can. Um... I imagine we'll, br we'll, br we'll be bringing back the Melly incentive. Even Lissy giving him red hair doesn't d doesn't change anything. Regardless, uh -huh, because you, you love him regardless. No. Regardless, that is going to do it for me for this evening. So. As always, I am Maniacal Engineer, and I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Thank you all for watching, and God bless this mess.
Good night. Good night.